Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Bonsai Movie Crew. I am hosting this week, and I'm Karen. Joseph. Sorry. Matthew. <laughs> Matthew. We just jumped right into it that time. We didn't even, like... Are we... There was are, no, like, giggling or, like, silence. I'm a very professional person. Karen's like, we're just getting right to the fucking thing. Listen, thing. I'm, I'm going to do this. This is a fucking... You do it, man. This is a fucking business. I'm also going to say, this your I, show I, this I might week. sound a little different because I... And getting over a sickness. Yeah, I'm. I'm not so much down with it. <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt, Matt's, Matt's not down with the sickness. Matt's being a trooper this week. He uh, did not feel so great and decided he was going to come and <laughs> do the show anyway because he is a fucking trooper. Let's put it like this, though. He's sick. He gets no mouth hugs this week. <laughs> None. Yeah, Joseph's putting his foot down. He's put not trying to get down, sick. and I'm keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> so uh i guess we'll jump right into the news and um i'm gonna give the first one because i'm hosting this week i'm just very excited about this um i saw before i came like right before i came actually there's gonna be a new reno movie coming out really it's a christmas movie oh fuck. <laughs> it's called um reno 911 it's a wonderful heist that should be interesting yeah and terry's back really yep that uh-huh. might be the reason I'm why. So, okay, that's to say, I might watch it for that I'm one. I'm so freaking excited. Anything it's, for uh, Nick Fortson, man. It's on um, Comedy Central is where it's premiering, and it's I think it's on the December 3rd. Hmm. So it'll it'll probably come to Paramount, though, right. you know, because Paramount has Comedy Central. So mm. I'll probably wait until it goes there, but I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> I saw you should check out the trailer. It's freaking great. I have to look that one up. I didn't, know, I didn't see that one. I've, I've kind of always had a thing for Terry. I think Terry's I love funny. Terry. Terry's my favorite. <laughs> he's like, I love I love when you find out in the very first movie that they did that he's actually not a liar. Yeah. <laughs> like like, yeah. Every, like yeah. everything he said. Like, they're yeah, like, yeah, dad, right, Terry, dad whatever. shows up with a jet and everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, and he's like, I just bought your new album. Fuck you, dad, yeah. or whatever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, his dad is, uh, um, what's his name? The guy, Huey Herman. Paul Herman. Paul Herman. Paul Herman. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, anyway, that's all I had for news. I was just too excited to hold it in. <laughs> I didn't have that for news, so I'm glad you said it. Yeah. Well, I literally watched it before I came. If oh. you haven't noticed, a lot of our news about entertainment tends to be more like thriller or horror themed. Do you mm. realize that? Uh, or or comedy. Like in that case, it was comedy. Yeah. yeah. And I have I have news on uh, actually Avatar this week. Avatar, Fuck Avatar. Screw Avatar. Um, so Avatar costs... Make a new Alita. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Avatar costs $250 million to Fuck make. that movie. So um, this movie literally has to make $2 billion worldwide to... It has to be... I hope it fucking takes. It has to make either fourth or fifth highest grossing in the world of all time in order to actually... Uh, it probably break, won't tank. Or to break even. It probably won't tank. I don't know why people are so interested in seeing people, like blue people. I, I don't get it either, but... Like you said, it's just it's interesting to me because it is as blue Pocahontas. Yeah. So the movie cost because because it costs two hundred fifty million dollars. Um, apparently, if the movie tanks, because I think they've already filmed this one and three, two and three has already been filmed, and I think that in order for them to go on with four and five, they these have to be successful. I hope to God they're not. So I hope they, they tank. Fail. I do too. I don't. I don't care about Avatar. Like I watched the first one. It was cool. I guess. For its time, but well, it wasn't they, a fucking, it wasn't nothing revolutionary. And if they've already done two and three, like, I'm not a fan past three. Like, just in general, of anything. That's true, yeah. I don't I don't. Yeah, because then you're just, you're kicking a dead horse at Yeah, that I don't care for anything past uh, a trilogy. I think yeah. that anything past a trilogy is just ridiculous. I agree. So if you've already done two and three, just stop. Yeah. Be done. Right. There's no reason to go on any farther. No. If you can't tell the story in three movies, and this is this is aside the the amazing slasher films of the eighties, but um, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like if you can't tell it in three movies, just just stop. Just stop. Yeah. Um, also, there's a movie trailer out for a movie called Inside. It's got uh, Willem Dafoe in it. Um, he plays a um, some kind of art uh, robber. I don't know. He apparently breaks into some expensive, lavish apartment. Tries to steal some art and he goes into lockdown, and he's stuck inside this apartment. And I'm not really sure the. So it's the, like a heist movie. No, it's more of a uh, psychological thriller, I think. Huh. Hmm. So like, cause he's like stuck inside this place where like he's got limited resources, limited food, and it's just an apartment that he's like locked down inside of. So it looks interesting, and I'll watch anything with Willem Dafoe. 
Yeah, um, I agree. I like so, um, also in some actually very, very sad, sad news this week, mm-hmm. um, Jason David Frank passed yes. away. If anybody knows who that is, that is the Green Ranger and the White Ranger and the Black Ranger and the Red Ranger from the Power Rangers. Um, he died. Wait, at, which Ranger was he? He was, was the green, original Green Ranger. Wasn't he it, real healthy and stuff? Yeah, yeah. He, he was only forty nine. Um, yeah, so, he was the one who was in like he had tap out. Yeah, he was all tatted, tatted up and shit. He was an actual. Uh, he was actually an actual MMA fighter. Yeah, and I think he also had tap out tattooed on his arm, and the ta- the T was a cross. Like, yeah, I think he was also religious. Yeah, he was very religious. Yeah. Um, so uh, they haven't released the cause of death, but it's speculated and it's been uh, rumored that it was a suicide, which is extremely sad because yeah. agreed. He seemed like a really happy dude, and he was like, we was one of the. Original Power Rangers that really, really, like, stuck to his fan base. And he really connected with his fans. And honestly, dude, he was the coolest fucking Power Ranger at whenever I was... This show, oh, that yeah. show, the uh, original Power Rangers show came out whenever I was, like, seven or eight. And I remember growing up on that show, and it was fucking awesome. Because they didn't have shit like that on TV back we then, had you know? a, we had I had a group of friends that it was, wasn't really a group of friends. It was me and two other people. <laughs> but we, <laughs> we'd like to try to make up, like, other... Once. Other ranger, yeah, like, yeah. What ranger this should be? I used you know, to like, do the I, same I, thing. I you like, with a, like one guy. Who how did you do that though? They already used all the primary colors. Not back whenever the original <laughs> show was out. I was like, I want to be the gold ranger. They're like oh, gold. That's true. Because <laughs> uh, I remember when I when I was young and we would play Power Rangers. Uh, everybody wanted to be the green or red ranger. Yeah. And then, well, because it was red ranger for a long time, but then mm-hmm. the green ranger came out and it was like, oh, I'm the green ranger. And then the green ranger turned white. Yeah, and then everybody wanted to be the White Ranger because yep. they all changed their collars and stuff around. Because he looked yeah. cool, he looked yeah, awesome. Yeah. He, and that, and he was like the, the he was like the prize one. Yeah, yeah. And I, I I I feel bad, and I'm sorry that he passed away. He was only 49, man. Man, he was not that old. No, he wasn't. Um, and he was actually a really nice dude. And yeah, from what it, it's really sad that he, that he's gone. From Agreed. everything I've seen, he w- he was a really good guy. I don't he think I don't think nice. enough people are talking about it honestly because yeah, I didn't. Know yeah, I don't agree. It. I don't agree. It's not big enough news. It's not big enough it's, news, it's, honestly. I it, think it should it's be bigger only than it is. Circles, it seems like in um, the circles that like you know we run with. Yeah, you know, nerd, nerd nerd circles. Yeah, much. like I'm I'm noticing a lot of my friends talking about it and not really yeah. anywhere else. You know. Um, it's sad because honestly, he was a huge. He's a huge, huge part of it. Uh, anybody my age, like part of your childhood, dude. Yeah. Like you grew up watching this dude on TV every weekend, you know. And it sucks. It really sucks because he was. Well, like you said, he was very. Um, he had just. He had just his fan base. Yeah, he had just retired from the Power Rangers franchise. Mm-hmm. He was going on to make a new, more adult movie, um, and it was called something The White Dragon or something, and. Uh, I think it's like Enter the White Dragon or something. And it was supposed to be like a martial arts kind of like Power Rangers where he morphed into something, like mm-hmm. some kind of like <coughs> suited guy or whatever. Sure. And uh, and and I guess that's in post-production. So I don't know. I, that'll be like his legacy movie, I suppose, now. Well, now they, they also got enough technology now with like movies to where they can put like because they did it with the guy in Rogue One. He's been dead for years, and they made that movie. Yeah, I know you're talking still, about. Yeah. And they did it for the new two. The with Carrie Fisher, they did mm-hmm. it. So they did it. So well, at the very least, died. anything he didn't get filmed before he died. Yeah. I think. Make, yeah. Well, I think it was all done. It were it was in pro, post production. So that oh, means okay. that means filming's done. Yeah. But anyway, that's all the news I have. Uh, and and if you guys. Anybody who's listening, um, get on Twitter or whatever and just give a little shout out to uh, Jason David Frank. Absolutely. Post something that, you know, you remember best about him. Obviously, it's probably going to be a Power Rangers sort of thing. But Sure. Anyway. Uh, All right. So, yeah. I guess we'll jump into uh, what we've been watching. So, Matt, you want to start us off? Yeah. I didn't really watch. Like, I've been watching, you know, just, I watch a lot more TV shows like Burn Notice and stuff. But I uh, was going through movies this week. And I did watch R.I.P.D. 2. Oh, God. Jeez, dude. I saw that. Jeremiah tried to talk me into watching it. I'm like, dude, even I, I'm not that. The only reason, Jeffrey Donovan. The only reason yeah. I watched it was Jeffrey yeah. Donovan. That's the only reason. That's the only reason why you I was going to watch it. You, you knew that, right? Like what? You, I knew that you, that's you, why you, he watched yeah. it. Uh, yeah, of that's course. The, yeah, that's the only reason I watched it. That's the it. only reason why I would have watched it. Yeah. Because like, uh, 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 like, you tell me R.I.P.D. 2 and it's straight to video. I'm yeah. like, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, no. I did like the fact, though, that, well, I don't, should I use Go ahead, spoilers? man. Spoil the way, dude. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm never going to watch this shit. Well, well, I like the fact that his partner was basically ended up being Jonah Mark. <laughs> oh, did you? <she? laughs> yeah. Like, so who, uh, who did he play? He played the guy that was played the by... The younger version of Jeff Bridges? Yeah. Okay. He played... He, he was that... Basically, he was he was the character that Jeff Bridges was, like, going into, this is how I died and stuff, and this is what happened. Okay. And then, yeah. That's what I thought. I wouldn't And sure. then uh, the guy that played uh, the killer in uh, Barbarian uh, played um, the, the devil. Not the Bill devil. Mosley. He, he was He was one of the devils. In Barbarian? You talking about Bill Mosley? What are you talking about? The guy who played the um, killer in Bar- Barbarian. That Barbarian movie we watched. Oh, you're talking about... Um, or not. Uh, Shit. Fuck. Richard Brake. Yeah, yeah, Richard Brake. Why did I say Bill Mosley? Oh, you probably think lose my fucking mind. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, lose my fucking he was mind. Like the, he, he was like the evil... They said he was like... They said that he was like a part of the Holy Trinity, the tr- the Trinity of Devils. Apparently, there was like three big devils. Yeah, he'd definitely be one of them. Uh, yeah, so for he, sure. He'd be he'd and, do a good job of it too. He, was he try- could be all three. Yeah. He was trying to break the uh, Dedos, you know, out and take over humans. And stuff. Right. It, was, it, it wasn't a bad movie. I mean, like it wasn't a good movie. <laughs> 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 but it wasn't yeah. a bad movie. I mean, it wasn't a good movie. <laughs> but it, it, like, because I even turned it on, not thinking, uh, thinking, well, I'm not going to get it on this. Like, I was, I was like making, I was braiding hemp and watching it. Okay, there was like not really much going on. There was even one part where my mom wanted to go to Walmart and I just paused it and left. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know you're not really into a movie. <laughs> yeah, I'll go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really doing much. <laughs> I needed some things. So yeah, like I, I paused the movie and everything. I came back and watched it and watched the rest of it. Yeah, See, I probably would have forgot about it. Like, oh, fuck, I was watching the movie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, the only reason I watched this because... put it like this. He wasn't like getting all antsy through Walmart saying, Mom, we got to hurry up. I need to go finish that movie. Yeah. <laughs> no, he wasn't. He wasn't no, he excited. wasn't doing that. He wasn't excited at all. Yeah, I... Uh, yeah. I really only watched it because Jeffrey Donovan. That was the only reason. Because you don't see him in much. And, like, if he isn't much, I'm missing it. Yeah. <laughs> he is an actor that is very underutilized because he's a good actor. And he's, yeah. he's pretty funny for the most part. I feel that way about Dylan McDermott. Who I really like him. He was in season one of uh, uh, American Horror Story. Played the psychiatrist. Okay, yeah, the husband. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I really like him. He's I a good think. actor, too, because he was in season Three, two. Yeah, he's in. Two. He's in different seasons yeah. as different people. He was, the, he, was cr- he was the crazy uh, son or whatever. Yeah, bloody one. face. And then he was also he. You know, he's reprised his role as a psychiatrist a couple of times. And I've seen him in other stuff. Um, but he actually witnessed his mother get murdered in real life. In real life, That's when he awesome. was like four. Oh, four? Fuck, you can't remember. He was like four or five. Yeah, actually, your memory starts developing it. You, yeah, he uh, w- he say, witnessed it, and he was in the trial. Yeah, they say that you as uh, a witness. They say that your memories start coming at the age of three. That's crazy. He was before he was in kindergarten. I remember that, but he was yeah, he was young, and uh, yeah, I, was I, it I like a crazy like ex boyfriend or something. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. He I, he was really young. I remember that about him, and I just I think he's just one of those guys that should be in more stuff. I like him. Yeah. He's a good Sorry. looking dude, too. Good. Did, did you watch anything else? Mm, trying to remember if I did. No, that was about it. Okay. What about you, Joseph? Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to watch, uh, this is the movie, but I decided to watch a guy play, I wanted to pl- watch a really modded out version of Fallout 4. <laughs> And this is kind of a coincidence. I was watching the guy, and I found out his the, video, the name of his channel is uh, Just Me Matt. Yeah. <laughs> so I was watching. I actually started watching because I like the really modded out videos because I can't do it because I got a com- I got a game system, not a computer. But his care. I was watching, and I realized that the name of his character and the Fallout for, for my is Captain Joseph. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's funny. Wow. He wow. named it after me. <laughs> wow. And I told my mom that, and she's like, huh, that's like a wink and eek. And I was like, yeah, it's kind of funny. I thought it was just funny. I'm your captain, Matt. <laughs> no, it's because he, he made his guy basically, he was like an old, because in the game, your character is ex-military, 
and he did this whole life thing where it was like the guy was a gunner and stuff, so he was a captain. And yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's it. that. That's it. No more interruptions for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can your captain go now? Yes. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I didn't. I didn't watch. From now on, right? yeah. <laughs> captain. And if he's the captain, we're it all doesn't dead. have a very good ring, though. It doesn't have a good ring. <laughs> captain to it. Joseph. Yeah, it doesn't sound very good. It doesn't. Um, what did I watch? I watched. Uh, been watching Air Always Sunny every night. Uh, with dinner. Always sunny every night. Always sunny every night. Even when it's even when it's cloudy, it's sunny. <laughs> it's true. It's sunny at my house. <laughs> and it's always Philadelphia. You know, I watched somebody say uh, they was doing a joke about that. It was like it's they're like it's talking about how it's called always sunny in Philadelphia, and it shouldn't be called that because it's not always sunny in Philadelphia. It, it's actually sometimes crazy, so it should be sometimes funny, sometimes or n- well, not it's only it's always sunny, <laughs> it's sunny in Philadelphia. I think it's one of those things where uh, what's the old slang or the old uh, saying where. Uh, it always it, it never shines on a something ass or something like that. You remember? You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, I do, but I don't remember the. I can't remember the saying, but I think it has something pertains kind of something to like that. I know, but I still thought the video of him saying it. Was but uh, um, I don't, I don't, I didn't watch much. I watched uh, that Slumberland movie that's on Netflix, and uh, me and the kids watched it, and I remember watching the original the movie Little Nemo. You know what I'm talking Finding about? The cartoon? Nemo? No, Little Nemo. Little Nemo. It's a cartoon about the little boy who's who goes to Slumberland and, and then has to travel to Nightmare Land to battle the nightmare and all that. You've never nope. seen it? Nope. Oh, my You're God. You're on a blank. It's a fucking classic. Maybe uh, I... It's a kid's movie. Maybe, it, yeah, maybe I've honestly, seen it. Honestly, it looks even... like it could be a Disney movie, but it's not a Disney movie. Um, I, I don't, I've never seen it. I've seen The Brave Little Toaster. Well, I'm going to type <laughs> it in because apparently there's things that I've watched that I don't remember watching. <laughs> so I'm just gonna look at it. He Let's flies see. around on his bed, and he has to use. Nope, never, never seen, seen it. it? Nope. Oh my god, it's Mm-mm. so so good, so good. I remember when we were in high school, you guys like fell into it for a minute. Like I was like, ah, oh, have you seen Little Nemo? Because like I've Nemo. been why I knew of that movie ever since I was a little kid. Yeah. Um, that's just when it got brought up. But. It's well, it's a movie that I gotta say, if you've never seen Little Nemo and you have <laughs> kids or. <coughs> You're looking for an old classic cartoon that's really fucking good. That also, maybe you don't like Disney. This is a good non-Disney movie. Um, the movie's awesome. Um, so it's about a little boy that goes to Slumberland. Uh, he falls asleep, goes to Slumberland, and he meets a little clown dude named Flip. So Flip guides him through Slumberland, and he meets the king of Slumberland and uh, and his daughter, who I can't remember her name. So eventually, he has to. So the, he opens. He, the king gives him a key. He uses the key to open up the uh, the door that leads to Nightmare Land. Nightmare come out and takes the king and captures him, and he has to go rescue the king. Ooh. And eventually, he has to rescue all of his friends too. Um, so this is like a sequel to the original. I I'm not really sh- no, it's not a sequel. Yeah. Um, so f- a little Nemo is about a little boy. This one is like it takes place in Slumberland. But Slumberland is completely different. It's made up of everybody's dreams. Okay. So um, you travel from dream to dream. So it's just dream. like in the same universe as... It, well, the, the thing is, is uh, Little Nemo, the whole series, the Slumberland series, is like, I want to say, a series of children's books or something like that. Oh. Um, something like that. But like this this movie is nothing like that cartoon. Oh. The movie is more like like Jason Momoa plays Flip. Oh. So, whereas, like, in the original cartoon, Flip was this little short, chubby clown dude who's always got a cigar in his mouth and he's very rough around the edges. When J- Jason Momoa, I mean, he was comical, Jason Momoa kind of plays that, minus the cigar and being a little chubby, short, short dude. Now, he's, like, this tall, goofy dude. He kind of reminds me a little bit of, like, Drop Dead Fred or Beetlejuice, kind of, like, okay. in that vein. Um, and he does a really good job. But and then the little girl, her name is Nemo, is, so they gender swapped that, and I didn't care about, huh? This is a cartoon. No, this is a movie. This is an actual movie. Oh, okay. Um, so it's very CG heavy. Um, it was very good though. I loved it. I thought it was a great movie. Doesn't hold a candle to the original cartoon, but that's just probably nostalgia speaking there. Mm-hmm. But um, uh, I would recommend it. I watched it with the kids, and even my oldest, who's fifteen, said. 
she's like, I'm only going to watch it because it's, you know, I'm watching it with you, Dad. And then by the end of the movie, she said it was really good. So it, I, I liked it. I thought it was a good movie. Um, critics were a little, div- like, critics and audiences were divided on it. Like, had a low critic score, high audience score. So check it out if you want. I liked it. I would recommend it. And uh, especially if you have kids or anything like that um, and you're into that kind of shit. And instead of Nightmare Land, there's, like, a sea of nightmares. And I didn't like that aspect too much. I liked them going to Nightmare Land in the original, which was yeah. awesome. It gave a very dark, a very much a darker tone to the end of the movie that it needed for there to be brightness at the end. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the climax was, you know what I mean? Yeah. And and for that, in this, they do that, but not in the same vein. It's not. It's just not the same to yeah. me. You know. So, but check it out. You guys check it out. I thought it was good. Okay. Uh, That's all I watched. I want to say one more thing that I forgot to think. God damn, Matt! Figure it out, dude. <laughs> Stay on well, track. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, I said I was watching that dairy. You got to pass because you're sick. That Dairy Girls show. Yeah. It has Liam Neeson in it. Does it? Uh, he's he, he's only got two short roles. He's the, he's the police captain, but it has Liam Neeson in it. That's funny. Is it, it like, how old is the show? It's it's recent. Like it's, oh, really? Yeah, okay. and, and he, it's because, you know, Liam Neeson, he is, he's the chief of police, and he's, yeah, but it shows him, like, twice, and I was just like, I thought, I, I got to tell you guys. Because... Yeah. Uh, Who doesn't love Liam Neeson? <laughs> well, I've actually watched a lot of shit, because I've been off work since Tuesday. Um, we finished only Murders in the Building, which I freaking loved. I can't wait for just, season three. Just recently, yeah, I that? did. <laughs> I've only watched like one episode. Well, so. here's the problem: is like you know, I get away from things. You uh, know, like we've yeah. talked about. You know, like you're in the mood for certain genres. I haven't been in even the mood that. For not that. even that, but also like I forget about shows. No, I haven't forgotten about it. I've been wanting to get back to it. It's just I haven't really been in the mood Ooh. for it. You know. Um, but we we finally did finish it, and I can't wait for season three. That freaking show's great. Uh, I watched Candyman, the new one. Um, I really liked it. Uh, I loved a lot about it. The only thing, the, the ending didn't... A lot of people had gripes about the ending. I didn't understand. So, the ending... No, no, I, I, I understand. Oh. I don't understand the whole the whole legend literally the the legend says if you call him he will kill you the person who calls him okay. will get killed I'm going to explain that cuz you're talking about the girl right so the whole point of that I believe is that so that she can tell the story because I get that. hold on because if I you think that. about it the little boy the girl who called the girl and the boy who called him, which was him, uh, he called him before. But who was able to spread the story? He was because he witnessed it, and that was her whole deal. And, the girl and the boy, which one? What are you uh, about? The guy who um, turns him into Candyman, the guy that owns the laundry mat or whatever. He didn't call him. His sister. did. His sister did, but and he witnessed him, and he was able to tell the story. Right. And I think that's the whole point. That that is her. That her her thing. Is to um, spread okay. the story. I get that. I get that they need a witness. Right. Right. And but, also, but uh, the witness. He's can't killing be cops, the, man. I get it. <laughs> I get it. But in order for it to follow the legend, the, the witness should have been one of the cops. And I understand why it wasn't one of the cops. I get why she should right. have been the witness. I understand all of those things. But it also goes against the legend. The entire. I understand. Yeah. Legend. Like, it, her, how? It, yeah. It just. It didn't. I didn't hate it because there were of a that. Few, there's a few gripes about the movie. Yeah. The biggest w- thing for the movie for me was tone. Oh, absolutely. The tone of the movie. The tone the cinematography. was amazing. The cinematography was amazing. Dude, that scene where that the, lady, the lady, the lady gets killed in her apartment, and all you see is her getting picked up yeah, and like from yeah. the window. I, I like, literally that was such I a good shot. Gasped. I was like, that was awesome. I literally gasped because I was sitting yeah. there and I was like. <gasps> And then he just drug it yeah, off. I was like, because, dude, that is such a good yeah, shot. Yeah, he's like, did you just gasp? I'm like, I did. Like, that was <laughs> like, good. That was like, a good shot. And, that and was a the, good scene. The thing that killed me was because um, one of the things that always struck me about the original was the music. Yeah. That soundtrack yeah. just set the stage mm-hmm. so well for that movie. And in this one, it, it didn't disappoint. Yeah. It wasn't, I, I you know, yeah. it's never going to be as good, I think, as the first one, as far as, you know, the soundtrack, how well it set the stage, but it was damn good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the movie, the movie itself, cinematography, mm-hmm. score, all that stuff, 
it was really good. Well lit. It was good. Mm. Uh, I mean, in the acting, good color was great, tones and all the, that. Oh, know, all, and what's his name? Yahya Abdul. Yes, Kain yes. He, he did. He did. I a very fucking good, love that. He dude. did that a dude very can good act job. His ass off, and I man. loved. I loved the puppet stuff that they did yeah that, that was another was big great. thing great yeah oh i love that the opening title card and also whenever they're explaining everything mm-hmm. with those yes that, that was, was really, really cool. good yeah um but i don't want to give too much away because i you still i like that it, but... because it was better than doing a flashback of yes the original movie. absolutely absolutely you know yes I mean? like i like that like uh, yeah. let's do it this like, way I, I was even thinking that when i was watching it i was like every movie should do this i feel like doing a flashback is cheap now it is cheap i feel like you're just it you're, is cheap you're, 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 you're right you're you're being cheap you're mm-hmm. you're you're cheating you're cheating. If you do a flashback from now on, you you're, are cheating. You're, you're, you're doing three minutes of filler, bitch. Yeah, you are <laughs> cheating. <laughs> but anyway, I don't want to get too much away because Matt hasn't seen it and he still wants to see it. That's why I was trying to yeah. say, like, the end, I, like, that piss. It didn't piss me off, but it was just kind of like. See, that, that's all uh, I mean. you, you can say something and I'll forget it, by the way. <laughs> I was just saying, I, I don't think Matt's really, he was really paying attention. Well, anyway. no, no, no. The, 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 also, well, that's one of the, like, that's one of the only good things about short term memory. My short-term memory loss is people can say something about a movie, and then by the time I watch it, I totally forgot. But what did you just say, like, two minutes ago? That was really the only thing I I wouldn't say hated. It was just like, that is totally wrong. Um, there's ways to explain it away, though, but you shouldn't are, have to do there that. Are, exactly. There, there are, but they're all weak. Right. Compared yeah. to that legend. That legend is so big now right yeah. even in the real world it's so big that you belittle it with any explanation you get let me put it like this would you recommend absolutely do absolutely you, do you think it's better than the other sequels um with the exception of the second one and the only reason i'll say that is because um i liked the exploration into the original Candyman's background right Okay, um, I've heard that before too. Sure, and I heard this. I heard the third one really sucked. I didn't. See, I didn't watch anything past, mm-hmm. so I can't. I can't really speak on any of the yeah. other sequels. But uh, I will I, say, I think I've only seen the first one and maybe the second one. Uh, I know I've seen the first one, but it's been so long ago. Well, and I'll say this too, since he says he can't remember anything, but <laughs> I really loved the fact that it depended on what legend you found what candy man you got that was neat as fuck to me yeah that's pretty cool that was really cool i really um, like that what do you what do you think about the the, the holes in the that face that doesn't bother me oh, you, 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 you're the one that's got a problem with that oh, i no. seen it and i was like oh man poor joseph that really would fuck you up yeah. <laughs> I feel like you, you know i, I, I was what do they call that uh a trictophobia trictophobia yeah mm-hmm. i heard about I, I remember you saying that i've seen pictures on like thing where they're like the skin disease that Don't has do that. that stuff don't do that Okay. Anything on the skin or in the skin. Like, if you show me, like, stuff on the skin, like, growing on the skin, like, or, or like... Ugh. So don't no. send me, like, zit videos or anything? No. No, no, oh? what this oh. is, is it's like a clickbait thing. Yeah. It's like, they'll show this, and it's got, got all these little holes. And it looks yeah, that's, like, oh, it's yeah. not a real thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, but then, uh, because there's something, like, my friend Milo, he has a problem with eyes being messed with in movies. I don't like when they tear the fingernails out. I can't do the I can't do the eye like there was I think a zombie. You guys ever seen that movie? Yeah. Yeah. You remember the the really slow? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh. Uh, I don't mind the eye. I don't mind the fingernail thing. Um, there are certain other things do do bother me. Did you ever have you ever seen the uh, music video for? Uh, it's a corn music video. Um, I think it's called Thought, not Thoughtless. I don't know, but they like go through all those things that drive people nuts, like. Sticking is it something. cartoon? Oh, like it's a, a cartoon. The, the, yeah, that's the one that has the needle going into, yeah, into the, the fingernail. Into the fingernail, yeah. And it's all car- it's all animated, but yeah. still, it's like supposed to like get on your skin. Mm-hmm. Huh. That movie, that 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 music video didn't bother me that much. The only thing that bothers me is anything inside the skin. It's mm. weird. It's gross. So yeah. you must have you must have not liked Mummy. No, that, that didn't. That doesn't bother me. That uh, didn't bother me. Uh, that's different. That's not. <laughs> That and that looks fake as fuck. So yeah, it was CGI. So yeah, let's face it. I mean, it, back then it was kind of like yeah, you mummy know, didn't uh, age well when it comes to CG. Well, none of it did really. Yeah. I mean, I mean, think about first time you played Resident Evil. You're like, these graphics are amazing. Oh, I know, right? Yeah. And then you go back and play Resident I Evil. I remember. Now, you're like, I tried this to. Is boxy I tried to fuck. play. Uh, what was it? Um, oh, it was uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. 
<laughs> and, I know it was Grand Theft Auto Three, and I'm like, I'm like playing. I'm like, God, damn, I played this shit. Mm-hmm. Like we are so like spoiled my eyes now, are burning. Dude. Yeah, I'm like, I can't even see any. Like, how did I play this game before? Yeah. Like, I can, you can't even but you see have to anything. Remember, like, TVs now, like, are terrible to play that shit on. Oh, like, for we sure. actually have old TVs just for that purpose. Right. Like, set aside for older gaming. Older games. Yeah. Then you didn't sit on top of a TV like you do nowadays or monitors. Like, back in the day, if you were playing a game, you were like. I mean, you were close to it, I guess, because you had yeah, because yeah, yeah, the controllers were wired. But at the same time, you weren't standing right up on the TV like you do these high definition monitors and right. shit nowadays. Um, also watch Law and Order <coughs> again because I'm trying to finish it because I want to get to the Stabler one. I'm sorry, Law and Order is kind of the, one of the boring ones. Not SVU. Really? No, I've never watched. I like SVU. SVU. You wouldn't. I don't think you'd like it. I don't like it. I've never watched any of them. I don't think because it's all about bad things happening to kids and. Well, see, and, I don't like hearing about that. Yeah, I don't think I don't it's called Special Victims Unit. Yeah, I did like Criminal Minds, but there were ones when it happened to kids and stuff. I was like, oh, I don't want to. Yeah, I'm trying to get to the Stabler one about organized crime. So I got, I want to finish this one so I can get to that one. I don't think I really have to, but I've started it, so I want to. Uh, I watched a movie called Blood Sucking Bastards. It was on my watch was list. Was that about vampires? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, and I've watched it before. I didn't I realize until this. about midway through, and I'm like, oh, I've seen this. I think I've heard of this. Yes, yeah, uh, some dude like gets passed over for a promotion, and the dude that they hired is actually a vampire, and he turns the whole office into vampires. Yeah, it's like an and, office theme. Yeah, yeah. It, it was it was good. I really, I mean, I liked it the first time I watched it, but I watched it again because I, I think it was around the same time that um, that movie with Steven Yen came out. Um, no, that one came out a couple years later. Did it? Mm-hmm. Rampage. Was it Rampage? I think it was. Ram- I think it's called Rampage. And then there's another movie of the same similarity, not with him in it, but with a different dude. I can't remember the name of that one either, but it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, it's Stephen Yen. The thing. Stephen Yen one was good, but that was more about like, uh, like a zombie rage virus or something. Wasn't yeah, it? I don't remember. Uh, well, I watched a movie called We Are What We Are. That was sort of like a movie about cannibals. It was okay. Uh, I think I've heard of that one, too. It was okay. It was on my watch list. Wait, was that about the girl and the dad, or the two girls and the dad? Yeah, okay, I've seen yeah, that one. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah, it was. it's forgettable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's forgettable. Uh, I watched Smile. <laughs> Jack wanted to watch it with me. Well, yeah. with us. And I'll tell you, I didn't hate it. I didn't like it. It the only thing I will give you is that it was very predictable. I yeah. could I could tell you what That's was going to happen. Like it. Yeah, I get that. Like, I need I need something new, man. I'm tired of the same old shit. I get that. I I mean I I could tell you exactly what was going to happen when it was going to happen. I I predicted basically the entire movie before something was happening. Like oh. Yeah, the cat's in that box. And you, were you know hoping, what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah I was hoping you were like, yeah, like all right, they're going to go something di- different yeah. now because this is too predictable. Yeah. But they don't. And then, you know, like uh, before like I don't know. 30 minutes before the end, I'm like, yeah, I know this is what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened. But again, I didn't hate it. It was, it was fine. Um, Jack loved it. <laughs> it's funny the, at the end when that thing like ripped off its face and it was, that was like, the coolest part. Oh yeah. When it ripped off its face and it was like all bloody and shit. Like Jack was like, well, that's a new core memory. <laughs> 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 it's funny. as hell. um, and then uh, we watched one episode of The Stand, the new miniseries. Oh, yeah. I'm not happy so far. It didn't get a lot of buzz. It can't be that great. Uh, so far, the only character that's true to form, and I you know, I don't, I try not get to get too bent out of shape of differences between the book and the movie. Right. But when they make miniseries, I feel like you like can be book. a little bit more closer. Yeah, you to can be. Form, you can right? definitely mm. keep keep it a little more right. To the book. And here's my gripe. So the only character so far that they've kept true to form, in a lot of ways or in most ways, is the biggest asshole in the book. The one that everybody hates. You should hate him. He's a fucking dick. Um, and then Stuart Redman, which is one of the heroes, his nickname's literally East Texas. Because he comes from East Texas and he has a very thick accent. And he's being played by James Marsden, who I always thought was a very good actor. Who? James Marsden. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's uh, dead to me. He's on Dead to yeah, Me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I oh, always th- sorry. I did watch that. I watched two episodes of Dead to Me. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, I, I haven't started that. Ah, I, 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 need, that I need to finish that. <laughs> but anyway, I really like him as an actor. Um, and I was really excited to see him play Stu Redman. But, like, there's no accent. And that bugs me. Um, and they then, probably tried it and they're like, nah, lose the accent. Yeah, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. And then uh, the other things that bug me is the things that they're changing have no reason to change. Like, right. there, it's stuff that's stupid. Like, there's a there's a very slight character. His, the only reason he exists is to further the plot. He's literally the guy that gets the virus out of the, the army base. He's only in it for, like, you know, 15 minutes in the movie. And he literally is just there to further the plot. And they changed his first name. He's a soldier. You don't even hear his first name, but maybe once. Then why'd they change it? Exactly. <laughs> I, I That's my point. The, the that's the problem that, with some directors and writers <coughs> taking too many liberties with yeah, other people's the, shit. The, the things that they're changing make no sense to me. It's I really bad it whenever they is. change it so much so mm -hmm. that you might as well not even <coughs> call it what the book was called. You might as well just change the fucking name. Like right. I Am Legend? Like I Am Legend, exactly. Yeah. I mean, they're keeping the basic things and they're keeping most of the story, but the things that they're changing are things that literally make no sense to change. Like, there, there's no reason to change it and I don't understand. Right. Like, so anyway, I started it. I'm going to finish it, but... Committed now. Yeah, and I'm, I'm not real happy with it so far, but you never know. Um, I'm really excited to see what's his place play the Dark Man because I think he'll fucking nail it. Um, Bill's brother, uh, he played the vampire guy. Oh, um, Alexander Skarsgård. Yeah, that guy. Uh, I think he's gonna nail it. So we'll go from there, I guess. But that's all <coughs> I watched. So now we will go straight into the movie. This week we watched Euro Trip. So I guess we'll go around and. Find out if people would recommend and watch again, right? That's what we do first. Yeah. Yeah. So, Matt, go ahead, since I know exactly what's coming. <laughs> There's a story that I got for this movie. Okay. A story. A story, time. story time with Matt. Uh, about a month ago, I, I sorted all my movies mm -hmm. into you know comedy, horror, action. And this movie was in the stack of movies Trash. to get rid of. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, I would never watch it again. And n no, I wouldn't tell people to watch it. It's okay. a movie that is past its prime. <laughs> okay. Uh. Well said. Like to like, I will say to, <laughs> it's past its prime. <laughs> like to teenagers and stuff, it would be funny, but I just don't see it funny anymore. And okay. I I like so if you're a teenager and you want to see an old funny movie, then maybe. But I I would I would just my opinion. I would say it's funny to our generation, maybe not teenagers now. That would be my take on it. But I don't know. But that's that's, I, that's that's what I would I I don't think my like my teenager would find it funny. That's, that's, Actually, no, he did find it funny. I'm sorry. That, anyway. that that's what I gotta say about that part. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, Joseph. Uh, this movie was early 2000s as fuck. Of course. <laughs> it was uh your pop punk music and your uh teen angst. Uh, this movie was complete trash. <laughs> I remember watching this movie years ago, and I didn't. I there are so many more boobs in this movie than I fucking remember. Um, so, not to mention, they're supposed to be high school students. That's not creepy at all. They're well, really they had just graduated high school. Yeah, and they're all just showing their tits off. So I'm looking at a bunch of seventeen to eighteen year olds flashing and showing tits and blah, blah blah like the girl in the hot tub at the very beginning oh yeah yeah she's like like she's she's literally a child or supposed to be that's not weird at all like come well, on i mean okay but that's besides the point so um i have a lot of gripes with this movie one being um we'll get into all those but i would not recommend this movie um this movie was fucking terrible um not in a sense that it's not in the sense that it was made poorly, but in the sense that it did not age well and it has not aged well. It was probably funnier back whenever we were younger, 
Um, but this movie just it 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 would not be made today for sure. And that's not a bad. I'm not saying that's a good thing either. You know what I mean? That's not a good thing because of just how people are nowadays. They're all a bunch of fucking sticks in the mud. Uh, but this movie is just it's it. My biggest gripe with the movie is it's like a bunch of 15 year olds says boobs. That's what we want is boobs. And then, like, there was no cohesive storyline, plot, other than we need to get this guy to see his girl that he's... Which is creepy enough as it is. Like, this dude literally travels around the world to see a girl he's never met before, and she doesn't even know he's coming. They, and, hold on, and on top of that, it was like, they're like, okay, how do we further this scene? Let's throw some naked bitches in there. I don't know. I just thought it was a bunch of horny teenagers, and I thought it was, I was—I wasn't happy with it. <sighs> that was sort of the point. I know, but it's just—I—I I also kind of like started this movie, and as soon as I saw like some of the very early two thousands bullshit, and then I saw this girl like rubbing her own tit, I was kind of like. I'm just not in the mood for this. <laughs> like, it is not something that I'm in the mood for. Uh, I, I think it's funny, though, that, like, movies like that, they always show these parties, and that's not how a real party never. is at all. <laughs> but, dude, that was, like, our generation's fucking, uh, what's the movie? With Jim Belushi, where he's got the ma- mashed potatoes in his mouth, and he Animal fucking... House. Animal, House. Animal House. Okay, so I want to just go on to say, I would not recommend this movie unless... You're into those kind of movies. Like, if you're into the Animal House movies or the... Uh, so you didn't like Animal House? I, it was okay. Um, it aged... It I, It is 100 times better than this, Animal House was, because it's a fucking classic. Um, but at the same time, uh, they weren't throwing in nudity just to throw in nudity. That's what they did in this entire film. <laughs> Everything was, was sex and That was and his nudity. argument for the watch. But there was crassness and stuff like that, and you like. Okay, that. yeah, but so, no, 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 no. This movie is ten times worse than The Watch. Oh, I agree. Like whenever it comes to like the nudity and all that mm-hmm. stuff, um, this movie is but we all have about our, like but the we one have character argued that crassness for crassness' sake does have a place in. Humor. I, I understand that, and I'm not saying that it's not for anybody. Like I said, like I was trying to say, if you are into these kinds of movies, like Road Trip and all that shit, you'll like this movie. You'll dig this movie. If you're a fan of Sean William Scott. Still. <laughs> yeah, or the American <laughs> Pie movies, whatever. Um, I'm not a fan of this movie for the fact that I don't need uh, I don't need sex and tits to further a fucking movie for me. And I definitely need better actors. Because these kids could not fucking act. None of them could. No, I, I don't think that the guy who played Scotty was very good. No. He wasn't good, and neither was the lo- blonde-haired dude. Oh, I, didn't, I, loved I didn't think he was good at all. Um, what's her name? Uh, Michelle Rosenberg? Michelle Trachtenberg. Trachtenberg. Michelle Trachtenberg. I remember her being so much hotter whenever I was a kid. I watched this movie. I'm like, she is not as attractive as I remember. (laughs) I feel bad for saying that, but she's too skinny. Yeah, she's extremely skinny. That's the problem. I've always. She's very skinny, and she's got a weird face. If you see her now, she looks better now. (laughs) Does she? Yeah, I haven't seen her. But (laughs) I just, I'm not a fan. Don't get me wrong, there is a few scenes in the movie that I found to be pretty funny, but um, everybody knows the song, Scotty doesn't know. Um, yeah, I was going to say, like, name more the iconic sound, I, I hated will, the fact that after I watched that movie, I could get, not get that song out of my head. I know. Scotty doesn't like, know. I hated it. <laughs> name a more iconic movie song. <laughs> I know. See, the thing is, is th- this movie has its funny moments. Like the part on the train. With, see, but the funny moments don't come from the actual cast. Like they the weren't Escuzzi funny. The Escuzzi guy. Yeah, the Escuzzi guy. He's uh the guy from uh um Portlandia and all yeah. that. Um uh he would, used to be on SNL. And then uh the scene honestly the only scene that I will say that was funny that wasn't that was done from the actual cast was the part with Scotty. because it's one of actually my favorite parts is whenever he um <laughs> I even I wrote it down actually. The uh the uh robot street fight scene. <laughs> Slowest fight ever. Yeah, dude. All uh, my robot, my robot fight fight balls. Ever. I don't know why, but I really enjoyed that scene. That's your mind. Error. It giggled. Error. It made me giggle. <laughs> was so. that guy? Because that guy, I, I wrote down like I said, the slowest fight ever. But was that guy 
from somewhere, the guy who played the robot, because I could swear he looked like a guy he who looks, was in he Reno. He looks like um, the dude from Reno, yeah, uh, Thomas Lennon. Yeah. But no, it's not Thomas it's Lennon. It's not? No. Okay. Because I was like, he looks like a guy. The he guy looks like Thomas Lennon, Lennon, but he's not Thomas Lennon. No. I even, <laughs> I even wrote down the note, I know Matt is going to hate this movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, I knew it before I yeah. picked it. Uh, I don't know, it's just... Okay, so, like, there's certain areas of the movie that I just found to be kind of nonsensical, which I know that's the point of the movie. Mm -hmm. But, like, there's also parts of the movie that I'm like, that would not actually happen. Like, the part where they're in the in the um, the shop or whatever, him and the uh, girl, and they're eating the brownies. Oh, yeah. And they start fucking losing their shit. Like, okay, come on, you know, you got to know you're not high. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah but also, there's also <laughs> that placebo effect, right? Okay, yeah, but, dude, they're freaking out and shit. I'm like... For one, nobody acts like that. No, not so, <laughs> the, those are two people that have never right. smoked weed in their life and, and are just going straight off of like what people have said, what edi what people have have said edibles know, do. You would know going in there that you're not in a pot shop. For yeah. one thing, in Amsterdam, all the pot shops you want pop, go to a cafe because that's what they're all called. If you want a ca you go to a coffee house, you're not going to get weed. You go to a cafe to get weed in Amsterdam. Right and. The thing that also kind of gets me about Amsterdam is it's funny, and I just feel I have to say this because everybody's like, oh, you, you go to Amsterdam, red light district. Amsterdam is a beautiful country without all that shit. Like, I've been told that Amsterdam is beautiful. Yeah, but that's a touristy shit. It is. Shit. It is. Yeah. It's, the, it's touristy, the touristy idea of Amsterdam, though, is the red light districts and the, weed, the, the legal weed everywhere. Mm-hmm. But anymore, dude, like, how often do you hear anybody talking about fucking Amsterdam? Well, yeah. that's because it's become legal. Pretty yeah, much it's everywhere. become and that and red light districts are so, uh, what do they say? Uh, taboo. Taboo. Yeah. yeah people, like, people don't well, care for that shit nowadays, anymore. Nowadays, people are a lot more, con you know, they're, they they're a little more they, conservative nowadays. Yeah. Than they and used to well, be. conservative and nobody wants, like, their dick to fall off. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, because, like, STDs are way too real nowadays. Yeah, for sure. So nobody is. It's not, you know, like I will say. I love then. seeing Lucy Lawless in this movie. I love <laughs> yeah. Lucy Lawless. Yeah. So, uh, and she, because she, she actually is. I think she's a New Zealander. I think she's from New Zealand. I'm not sure where she's. I from. know she's 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 foreign. I know that. Um, but she's that woman is a fucking badass dude. I fucking love that woman. <sighs> and she, I mean, I grew up with her as on Xena, you know, mm -hmm. Warrior Princess. And she was awesome in that. I never really watched it. Oh, I, I, love, I saw dude, like I had the hots for her so bad Everybody growing did. up, dude. Everybody her did. and Gabrielle, dude. Yeah. Fuck, I, I might even went down on fucking Hercules back in the day. Kevin Sorbo. <laughs> I started watching. I'd have gave that dude a handy. <laughs> Kevin Sorbo's awesome. I started watching he is awesome. I started watching Hercules because of Kevin Sorbo. His yeah, for son sure. has a TikTok. Yeah, I've seen it's his funny I've seen his TikTok. Shit. It's funny. Because he's shit. always asking his dad random ass questions yeah. and shit. Yeah, and his dad usually says something. And that's if you didn't know, Kevin Sorbo is super conservative. Oh, very. very that's very, why he doesn't super, that's why he doesn't do Hollywood movies anymore. They that's pretty much why kicked he, his ass out. He he uh pretty much uh, works for Pure Flicks. Yeah, yeah. Which is a Christian movie. He's a very company. he's very Christian conservative. So yeah. he was he was the main teacher in um God's Not Dead. Oh. Yeah. So, but anyway, um, there are some cameos in here that I really enjoy. Like I said, Lucy Lawless, the guy on the train. Um, who else? Oh, the uh, fuck. What's his name? He used to be a soccer player. Um, he was in Gone in 60 Seconds. He was in uh, Midnight Meat Train. Ah, fuck. I can't remember his name, but I love that dude, too. Um, I can never remember his fucking name, though. He had a small stent on, on, uh, on wrestling and shit. Uh, but anyway, so... Just some some people, the cameos that show up Vinny in here. Vinny Jones. Vinny Jones, that's his name. I knew I had it on there. Um, it's funny that he's like this like soccer fanatic because he actually used to play. Yeah. So. Oh, was that's... he a real soccer? Was he yeah. a soccer player? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, he's a real. He was actually a player. Um, so the guy who played Scotty, I was like, dude, this guy is like way too pretty. His eyes are really. Oh, pretty. he's got really pretty eyes, man. I'm like, dude, I, I almost want to. I almost want to date this. He guy. He was actually in another movie that I watched, uh, where they. Everybody who listens to this show is like, Joe Joseph's got to be like, he's got some closet shit going on, man. He's got to be gay, like. <laughs> <laughs> but he's he always was, talking about sucking some dude's dick or something. Like, mouth hugs. Mouth hugs and all this. Shit. He's always trying to blow his buddy Matt. Like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> he was on another movie uh, where they were like a paranormal team or whatever. I don't remember the end of it it was on netflix or whatever 
And I literally watched it because I was like, hey, that's Scotty, and I've never seen him in anything else, so I'm going to watch it. And I remember liking it, but I don't remember, like, how it ended or anything. I just remember it was, like, a paranormal team. They went into this house, and it was actually haunted. Huh. That's what I remember about it. Yeah, I, remember, I know. I, looked I remember up, it being I looked like, at his IMDb, and I, don't, I didn't see yeah, much Yeah, he's not in him. a lot, but yeah. that one, I remember it was, like, it was actually haunted. It was late. It was older, wasn't it, than this? Or, I mean, like, well, newer, I should say. Yeah, yeah, it was after this. So, also, I just want to say, is, is it me, is it just me, or is Scotty a dumb, like, he's a moron? Yeah, he's definitely a moron. Yeah, he is dumb as crap. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure Cooper is smarter than he is. So the oh, Cooper's very smart. Cooper is yeah. my favorite. I don't care what you guys say. So Cooper my is biggest... absolutely my favorite. I want his wardrobe. Who has a shirt with their own face on it? Uh, No. I want... I want his wardrobe. I, I want it. <laughs> I want it. Um, no, so no. I think that uh, yeah, I the thing that – so the one thing that killed it for me is the girl Mika, the girl that he's going to see, yeah. um, she would have been so much better to me if they didn't show her naked. Yeah. Yeah. I, she I, loses I, her, I, like, attractiveness and her her, well, and I her, did, her uh, one ability to, well, whenever they just show her topless. I kind of feel like it – I don't know. Also – it. it it I don't know. It it cheapens her. Exactly. It but makes her like, seem kinda cheap. It goes along with the movie. It like, does. Well if you remember in Road Trip, they did the same thing with his the main girl that he was yeah. trying to go for. She was topless right there at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, I can't remember her name, but she's actually a bigger name. Yeah, Michelle case. Trachtenberg's the only one that you don't see like anything. Right. And I remember being a kid thinking <laughs> she's the only one I wanted to see topless. Right. Because I remember seeing her in like Well Buffy you can imagine and, what they look like. Probably mosquito bites. Yeah, she doesn't have much I, going on there. Sorry, she's I, very tiny. I do not like small boobs. I don't like. Me. I don't like. She's just a stick. She was just a stick. Yeah, I, you know. Yeah. That's What's funny is whenever me and Crystal first got together, she was a stick. Yeah. Well, she's got a booty on her now. And she's, you know, and we're not going to go there. <laughs> Stop visualizing my wife, you fucking perverts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I guess I mean I do kind of agree with you there. I guess it just it would be. I think it would be off. I think it would be also off if they hadn't, wouldn't fit the rest of the, the movie. Right. Like if they had let her go topless, like at the nude beach or something. Right. Yeah. I, I think that. No. Well, I mean, if they had kept kept Mika like clothed uh, the whole time, it would have been. It wouldn't have fit the rest of the movie. I think. I think it would. Been. I think it would have been fine. I would have been okay with it. Like. Yeah, because they have. But I know what they're trying to do. Like they were like, <laughs> we're gonna get as many people naked in this movie. Because how many times do you see the the boys' asses? You know what I mean? Like you see him like three or four fucking times. Like, I only remember the one time at the nude, the nude beach. Well, that and then you saw the other dude's ass whenever uh, in the in the uh, sex place or whatever. In the, in the red. Oh yeah, yeah, Vondra sex. Okay, so yeah. you see his butt twice. Yeah. So I don't know, man. I just uh, hmm. I, don't know. Okay. I don't have a lot of good things to say about this movie. I really like the um, <laughs> happy anniversary right before they go into the Scotty doesn't know song. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. pretty funny to me. Yeah. Like, I never noticed that before. So, one thing that I did... Okay, so we're from Ohio, mm-hmm. and we actually had friends that went to Oberlin College. And one thing I don't like is that, like, she transferred from Germany over to oh shitty-ass Ohio to go to Oberlin College because of some fucking boy. Yeah, and that's then, and so then, unrealistic. And then the most unrealistic part is the fact... That they managed to get room together. Yeah, they would have knew that she was a boy, yeah. a girl. Like, hold on, they you're not. Oh, you're not Micah. You're Mika. You're a female, not a dude. You know what I mean? Like, well, also, what really kind of makes me oh, like think that Scotty is dumb is, dude. How can you not tell she's a girl? Like, first of all, first of all. How long? Yeah, he how long were they pen German. pals? Yeah, he speaks horrible German, but there, there and how long were they pen pals? Four years. Yeah, four years, and you never realized you guys she already was a female? you guys already established Scotty's a fucking idiot. He's a moron. <laughs> His parents are horrible too. His parents are horrible. Where's Scotty at? <laughs> I don't know. I think he's camping. Yeah, how do you not know your yeah. kid is left? And then they ask the bird. How the fuck how should I know? I, how the fuck am I supposed to know? <laughs> I don't know. And then also uh, the the um. The, the soccer team, did you guys notice that they drove over an ocean? No. Yeah. They went from in London to Paris, and they drove over an ocean. They, like was, on the map? Yeah. Like whenever they showed it on the they map? They showed them drive over an ocean. They might have. I don't fucking know. <laughs> you know they, that fucking bus turned pretty, into a goddamn boat. Well, they're, they're, pre- they're pretty... Um, 
you know, like, angry. <laughs> they were angry. They probably were all out there paddling that bitch. Yeah. Like, let's go. Uh, the, I, I will say, like, I'm, uh, like, I really do like the guy who's talking to Cooper. <laughs> But because I, I can't remember anything he says, but I just think it's funny how he says that. Cooper's like, you guys are on a totally different level of cursing. Oh yeah, of <laughs> cursing. He's like talking to him, says a bunch of shit. He's like, you guys are on a whole other level of cursing over yeah. here. <laughs> I loved it when um he he got that phone call on his cell phone, very first oh, like yeah. when they first get there, and he's like, you didn't tell them you were leaving the country, and he's like, no, they would have stopped paying me. This seemed easier. <laughs> and then at the end, he's like, he's like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah, no, they home I understand. Like, oh, I'm I sorry a, about I your job. He's like, in a race. Yeah, he's like, no, they fired Humphrey. I got it. I got his office in a race. <laughs> That's why Cooper's my favorite. He's easily the smartest fucking person in this movie. <laughs> no, I don't rest until I find it, sir. And I like how he puts the boss on hold. He's like, hold on a second. Like messing with his teeth. God. But like, I don't know. You guys hated the movie. That's cool. It's fine. Um, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, I don't hate it. I just it aged poorly, very, very poorly. I think it aged just like any other crass. Uh, uh, any other movie like this, Porky's. Next to next ne- to all of the tits that you see in the movie, the acting is the worst thing. I don't like the actors. The actors did a poor job. Yeah, but you know, you could say the same thing about Animal House and Porky's. Like, you know, that was that but was like give Kevin Bacon. But we're not reviewing movie. Animal House or Porky's. I know, but I'm just saying. The I'm, same I'm, thing. I'm not this watching movie. Porky's. Just if anybody ever puts, I'm not watching <laughs> Porky's. I I watched it a while back, way before, and that movie is horrible. That movie is so bad, and it's not just because of the nudity and stuff. It's a bad movie. I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> my, Karen, you got a weird my fucking gra- taste in it. My grandma, <laughs> my grandma actually made me watch that movie because she thought it was hilarious. Like when that chick grabs that ki- that kid's dick <laughs> in the shower room, she thought that oh, was the funniest he's... thing ever. And your so, grandma had a very odd sense of humor, like for oh older yeah, she lady. loved uh, she loved um, Cheech and Chong. Yeah, that was her favorite. Teacher Chong was her favorite. Anyway, Karen's I grandma was awesome. She was yeah. awesome. I liked her. She was very sweet. I wouldn't even know that nice Porky's movie. existed without my grandma. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's what I think of. I think of this as like a modern day one of those movies. You know, because like a lot of this movie, this was like their first acting gig. And for a lot of them, probably their last. I mean, I've seen Cooper in a few things. I think Cooper went on to do a couple more things. Yeah, he's done a few. I've seen him in some like procedural shows i've yeah. seen him in a few you know other stuff i've seen scotty in a few other movies um michelle trachtenberg kind of fell off after buffy yeah she didn't do much um but yeah i mean that's what i think of when i watch this movie not so much like where it aged or their acting skills more like it was made with that sort of um idea doing that I guess, you know, without it being the seventies, I guess it was just like that sort of feel, I right. guess only in the two thousands with the two thousands. I understand. Vibe. I just, I understand why some people would love this movie just because it's like, it's goofy, it's nonsensical and it's just dumb humor. Like you don't have to think about this movie. Right. You know, you just watch it and right. especially if you're in a movie with a lot of tits. No, this you movie know? you watch and you lose brain cells. <laughs> Some movies you do. Um, but in this case, I think that it definitely calls to a very specific crowd. And I think that these days that crowd doesn't exist. That crowd just simply does not exist anymore. Probably so, not. I mean, but, you know, like, I've said this a million times and I'll, I'll stand by this. I think that the uh, top tier of comedy, the best uh, generation of comedy, was the... Um, Bill Murray's Harold Ramis and Rick Moranis. Oh, for all. sure. The that old was shit. the best generation Yeah, around like of National comedy. Lampoon and yep. all that stuff. Yeah. Caddyshack, and, um, all that shit. And for sure. And so that, that, that generation doesn't exist anymore. Caddyshack, it, that's another one. It's just, I mean, you, I mean, you got yeah, lots of tits. I mean, yeah, I guess. Well, not really, like though. That. Not a lot. That one, chick, that one chick walks around almost all the time top, topless. So, yeah, though, but there's The judge's like, fucking, what's her face? Uh, yeah, I understand yeah. that, but there's also good humor in there, like with Bill Murray's oh, character. Yeah, and there's the, a and lot the of, gopher mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Like, that shit's all, mm-hmm. and, and even with the, you know, with the, uh, um, uh, what do they call them? The, God damn it, the 
What do they call them guys that carry the shit around for them? Caddies. Caddies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? I know, man. Ugh. Sorry. I don't know why that fucking... I don't know why that went over my head. <laughs> wow. Hey, hey, hey. It's been a long fucking week. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> and we're only halfway through it. Oh, yeah, by the way, everybody, happy Thanksgiving tomorrow. Hey, oh, I was going to do that at the end. Oh, yeah, sorry. me too. I was Jesus little... Christ. I forgot. I got to cook dinner for everybody tomorrow. Do you? Yeah. You're the cooker? I'm the cooker. Oh, man. Also. I'm a good one, though. I want to <laughs> say in this movie where... Uh, Scotty offers to tr- speak German to the truck driver. I Why speak- would anybody trust you? I, I, like he even says, I speak bad German. <laughs> let, let Does me, he say that? He says, let what? me do this. I speak bad German. <laughs> yeah, I speak bad German. I wanted that that other guy's shirt, too, that said kill something. <laughs> and I hate the environment. <laughs> I'm telling you. Like, I didn't what, see I hate yeah, the environment. <laughs> the other guy, he said a shirt that said I hate the environment. <laughs> Can you imagine wearing that around now? People oh are like, god. oh my god, they throw paint on you. I, w- I would. No, I would. they'll throw soup on you, just like yeah, that. Yeah, the soup. Off. Yeah, you know, I, I, st- I watched the video about it. I still want to know them what girls the people that... with throwing soup on a painting. Uh, <laughs> I'm talking about the girls that super glue their hands to a wall. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know, just... you do know that that painting was like covered and sealed, right? Like, yeah, the, the, no, they, all they, they had say... to do was like Windex that. Oh, no, yeah. Like, they, they say they know that it's covered in a uh, glass. They know that. Do they know that? But like, also, it wasn't they... it all about oil or something? Yes, they super glue their hands on the wall. Yeah, they said stop using oil and then they... Yeah, oh, super glue. What about the fucking there. dye in their hair? That's more hazardous to the environment also, than the, anything. The, the super glue is made out of oil. Oh, oil, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everything that you're wearing, everything that it's all transported and created by oil. Mm. Yeah. So I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, we're off subject. <laughs> I, I will say, though, with the whole oil thing, I think that we should be less, uh, less, I think we should have less, oh, God, oh, crap, what is it? Less reliable on fossil fuels. That's about it. I think we should be less reliant. Okay, but you do fuels. know that, like, batteries are worse for the environment. Absolutely. Then. We, okay. I'm not saying that. Well, well that's the only other alternate source. I think source. that we should, no, I think that we should use. The only one that we know I'll, of. I'll, 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 go, I'll go this way. We need to find a better alternative, but batteries aren't it. No. Yeah. Batteries like, aren't like, it. I, like, okay, my whole thing with what Biden's doing is he's, oh, okay, we our, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting, well, we, no, we're no, getting way off subject here. The, is he wants to get rid of all the, uh, yeah, the, the cars. He's doing it t- too fast is what it is. Right. Like, you're still going to need oil for a lot of things. You're just, he's trying to shove something that's going to take hundreds of years to fix into a four-year period. You know what burns a lot of oil? This show, this movie, because of all the things that they had to use to get around the world. Planes, the planes trains, and automobiles. trains, the automobiles. They do use a train, actually. And automobiles. Holy fuck. This is train. Planes, trains, and automobiles, too. This is not a sequel, is no, it? No. It's not a sequel to anything. Actually, there's a trilogy. Of this? Mm-hmm. What are we talking about? Yeah. Sex Trip? No, th- yeah, so there was um, is it part Road of Trip, like that? and then Euro Trip, and then Sex Drive was the, the final. This was a trilogy. Shut up, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. But also, but they are in the same, like, dude. They're all field funny. Of comedy. They're all funny. All of them. <laughs> okay, the only funny part about well, uh, road trip was funny, and it wasn't just pure nudity all the way through. It was fucking stupid funny. Like yeah. the shit with Seth Green was hilarious. <laughs> uh, That's sex drive. <laughs> Huh? That's sex drive. You need to stop talking about those. Oh, not Seth Green. Sorry. Yeah, Seth. He was not in Road not Trip. Not Seth Green. Uh, fuck. What was his name? Um, Tom Green. Yeah, Tom, Tom Green. I fucking hate that guy though. You hate him? I hate him. Tom Green is retarded. He is retarded. That's what I loved about no, him. No, no, I hate him. Like on a personal, he's one of those people that he wants to pull pranks on everyone else, but he can't take it yeah, when they're pulled he, on he, him. He gets uh, hurt. He gets butt hurt when he's uh, when he's at the other. You end mean of his it. bum gets hurt? Because his bum is on the boat. No, I fucking can't stand that guy. <laughs> I mean, but, it's fine that he's in the movie. That, that's, that like, explains why he he married Drew Barrymore, because I can't stand her either. I like Drew Barrymore. I like Drew Barrymore. Uh, did anybody else know when they were in Bratislava? Bratislava. That, yeah, that the whole town was crap, but the hotel and the club were extravagant. because they had, they had money. So they were on the other side. I guess. But yeah, the whole still, dollar. Yeah, he gives the guy a nickel and he's like, 
shit. <laughs> I quit. I quit. <laughs> but I'm going to go start my own hotel. <laughs> but the thing is, if you're in a country you love that's that exchange that, rate. Yeah. If you're in a country that's that poor, they're not going to have nice hotels and stuff. Sure they do. You ever seen no, that? Because he's basically telling you that nobody comes to Broxlava. Why ever would seen, you? Have you ever seen some of the um, the poorest countries in the world? And there's literally like a line in the city. Mm. For the tourists versus the people who live there, I've seen some of it. Like, uh, like in uh, Colombia City, Mexico City, um, Jamaica is the same way. Yeah, Jamaica. Jamaica is, they they want you to stay away from trench town and yeah. stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So, I mean, I'm not saying you don't have a valid point, but I'm also saying that it's possible because mm. it literally exists in the world. Mm. But I I actually thought this was kind of funny. Was like Cooper's gaming his job, but he doesn't want to let Scotty use his phone for personal reasons. <laughs> right? <laughs> like he's gaming like, what his do you need job. It for? Yeah, it's like I'm not supposed to use this other than for work purposes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, I think I would notice if my kid was pretending to be Hitler. Uh, <laughs> like see, that's what one issue I had was like, all right, so if if the little kid is a Hitler, like. Mimicking Hitler, but that tells me that they're racist. Obviously, they're they they hate the Jews, all that good stuff. So, wouldn't that mean that like uh, Scotty's in love with a potential like Nazi? No, nah, just the kid. Remember, he's yeah, a but I mean, brother. yeah, but still though. I so mean, maybe it's just the mom and the kid. Maybe it's maybe it's the whole household. I'm saying potential. Sure, but also, I mean, he's been talking to her for four years. I think also, he'd know. Also, Woody though, he didn't even know that she was a fucking woman. Well, that's because he's an idiot. Exactly. And he's a, he speaks bad English. Also, also, get a <laughs> new bad maid. German? bad German. Yeah. Also, get a new maid. Yeah. Like, she's broken down, apparently. She probably just wants to quit. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> I, <laughs> wait, he, he called her Mat- Mata. Is Isn't that, that his mother? Oh, I, I don't know. Is it? Because because I know, I know, the only reason I know uh, German, it's Mutter, is what, but I don't know if that's how they would pronounce it. And that's from a Rammstein song. The but that's what he from. called her, wasn't it? I don't, I don't, th- I don't know. I, don't uh, I didn't care enough to pay attention. I swear to God, he called her that. I don't know. He might have. I'm not saying that he didn't. But also, uh, I was just watching the little kid in the background doing the Nazi march or goose whatever. Step. But what is um, it? what is it? It's the goose step. They call it a goose step. No, mm-hmm. but uh, did you notice at the uh, at the um. Vatican that uh, Cooper bites the ice cream and then it goes back and the ice cream cone's fixed. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of my favorite very parts. Special. <laughs> he's like, you see that guy? You see that guy back there? He's mentally retarded. And he's back there like. <laughs> <laughs> that's very sad. <laughs> yeah. A very special trip for a very special. A very boy. special day for a very, very special, special boy. boy. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. We quote this a lot at my house, so like, in a, at work and like lots of places. So that's I. That's one of them that we say all the time. Is like when somebody you know says something or does something stupid. It's always like have a very special day. <laughs> you know. That's not something. Like, yeah. I. But um. Also, uh, in the ca- in in the thing, they would have been arrested arrested right away. In the in the Vatican, for. Uh, they wandering off with the group. They would have been arrested right away. There's no way they could have actually did that whole scene. Well, yeah. Where he pulled the cord and all that, and then they, oh, they, there's no way that would have ever passed. As oh, okay, they got a new. And why did they out. just make that box t- for people just to be able to open if they could it just pull have, it? It would, it, oh yeah, it would have yeah, been like, locked. It would have been yeah. locked. Yeah. Like they just open it. Like oh, what's this? Like <laughs> you know what I thought's really funny though is when he walks up to M- Mika. Mika, she's like, who are you? Yeah, that was did funny. You, did he not send you sent a picture, but he didn't? Yeah, right. Right, <laughs> right I thought the same thing. <laughs> you know, me, I thought Scotty. it was I thought it was hilarious when they went to or when they were at the nude beach or whatever, and then they said like where um, all the locals go. Is that like the other one? And then they go like they pan to that or whatever, and the two girls are there, and the one's giving the one a massage, and she says something to her, and then one replies with we. Which we all know is French for yes, yes. but that's the the sub, it says make let's out. make out. <laughs> I'm like, that's that's not that's not what she said <laughs> at all. <laughs> I just thought, found it funny that like he's got his tourist guidebook, <laughs> yeah. and it says that everybody goes here, but during the summer months the women go here 
so all the dumbass men go here. Well, don't you think that all the dumbass men would be smart enough to go, well, they're not going to be there. Let's go over here where they're but they they actually but they, are. Wouldn't, they wouldn't let them read the tour. Remember, Cooper was like, we're not going to fucking read this nerd shit and took it away from him. I'm just saying like all the guys at the beach also, already. Oh, but nobody reads the nerd shit. Also, nobody reads the nerd shit. If you're going to read that book, like he says, I read it back covered. Uh, wouldn't you know what the writer looks like? Maybe and, there's and, no picture. Yeah, it's not one of those things that you would have know. like a, an about the well, author yeah, page and like, book. you know, a picture or whatever. But yeah. But uh, yeah. Also the whole thing that bothers me is he tells her he loves her. No, you don't, you don't know her. It's true. Well, they've, they've been, been writing for four writing years. For four I mean, years. he knows her. That's not he just true. thought she was a guy. That's not true. You can talk to somebody for years on the computer. You don't know if you love them. That's true. You know, they're like catfish proves that all the time. Oh, I love this person. No, you don't. You don't know that person. You do not know if you love that person. So until you're saying you he could have been catfished? He, well, well yeah. time out, time but, out. No, catfish well, doesn't prove anything. Catfish just proves that that person lied to them. They were still in love with that person that catfished them. They were in, per they were in love with that fake no, person. No, you... You are not in love with somebody until you meet them. That's the one thing that bothers me about that cat show fish is, oh, I was in love cat with that Cat show fish. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but, but, no, oh, I love that person. No, you don't. Also, why are you telling people that you don't know that you love them? On the computer, why are you telling people you... That is stupid. You... The, the, pe the people on that catfish show... Wouldn't be a show without a fucking Matt rant. Are uh, so yeah. stupid. It's, oh, I, I've talked to this person for six years. I think I could years. be in love with somebody without them. meeting them. No. I don't know because you don't know the real them. You talk to somebody on the computer for four years, you don't know the real them. You I think that you what he's saying is you would be in love with the idea of them yeah, until you, you actually know who met they them really and know are. them. You then don't know that's a different story. Like you could be in in love with that person, but you're not going to actually know that person. You're in love with what you think you know about them. Yeah, you're that person. Like is whenever you meet them face to face, they're com they're going to be completely different. They yeah. can say whatever they want to you. Like all you gotta do is type it out. How is that any different than an early relationship? If there's not, there is no difference. You're absolutely correct. Because in then an you early, can be in love with somebody. Not true. No. That is not true. You might think you are, but love is a something hard. That is that is something that is built up and comes with time. That is not something that you could just have right off the bat. I'm sorry, but I don't know people who say that they're in love with somebody right off the is bat. a long time to be writing to somebody and not be real. That's true, but... but, uh, but I, okay, but also, look at it this way. He's been writing her for four years, thinking that she's a dude. All of a sudden, she he loves her. Because he probably thought about all the things that he had no, said. And also, she said, he I mean. has no idea who she is because she he thought she was a dude. So now he's all of a sudden in love with her. So if he, if you, if he was actually a girl... Like, you you wouldn't you wouldn't hit that. Me? No. No. You wouldn't, dude. You wouldn't find me sexually no. attractive. No. You wouldn't. You wouldn't let me give you mouth hugs. Nope. Even I if I was a female, find you you, sexually attractive at all. So his personality does nothing for you. No. Aww. Okay. At least we we're we thought we were at least friends, we man. We are. And you're a good friend, but no, if you were a girl, I would not be attracted to you at all. Is it the beard? <laughs> no, no. Well, I, I would assume that would be gone if you were a girl. How do you know? <laughs> I don't know. That's, but that's yeah, a come, fair come point. That, that, because that's basically asking if I think any girl that I hang out with is attractive. I think a lot of the girls that I hang out with are attractive, but I'm not attracted to them. Like, I think Karen's very pretty, but I don't want to have sex with her. <laughs> I think Jessica's pretty. Don't want to have sex with her. You know, I... He says I'm pretty all the time, and he tells me all the time he wants more mouth hugs. No, I do not. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> oh, now, now that we're doing the podcast, you're going to lie, dude. You're going to lie about everything that we have together. <laughs> okay, whatever, Justin. No, I'm not lying. Because you I can have... keep that persona up all you want, but God damn it, you love these sexy lips, and you love it when this beard tickles your butthole. You are... <laughs> I want everybody to know that... He is truly joking because I am celibate. No, I'm not. <laughs> and I, no, he's not. <laughs> yes, I am. I am celibate. I am practicing celibacy. If by celibate you mean you love mouth hugs. <laughs> okay. I love how um, Cooper saying he get free, he gets free T-shirt with the flyer was what gave him away as an American. Not the fact that he talked like an American. Yeah. It's even better he, whenever he comes back from the place and he's wearing the T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, I thought that was hilarious. Like, 
is. <laughs> he's too. wearing the shirt. Like, he just went through hell, and he's like, "What do I want to wear?" Today? I would covet that I'm t-shirt. I'm gonna wear this shirt. I'm gonna. I would covet well, that t-shirt. Well, if you remember, they they tore his pants off. He yeah. shouldn't be wearing anything except for the shirt. Well, I'm sure he brought more clothes than just the one pair well, of yeah, pants. Because he did. I did. I mean, they were going on a trip. <laughs> you don't I forgot he had to take I for, one pair of pants. I forgot. I forgot he had his backpack with him. Yeah. I don't know that fucking thing that they came out of the back room with, uh, with the like, the trifecta of dildos. With the little feather in the middle. Yeah, that thing was pretty wild. I don't know how the hell that thing works, but uh, I don't know about you about no, going on you. a trip. All, all by you saying it, they're going on a trip. I'm, I'm sticking to that song. We're going on a trip <laughs> on our a favorite rocket, rocket ship. ship. <laughs> 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 That's exactly what happened to him. You, you know, yes. Also, the they thing, shot his ass right to the moon. One of the things <laughs> yes. I just really need to say about this movie is no matter how good a blowjob is, you're not going to be okay with being robbed. No. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot Diedrich Bader was in this movie. I did movie. too, yeah. <laughs> he was like, so young. I know. And like I seen him in the credits and I'm like, where the fuck is he in this movie? And then like when he when she was going down, I'm like, ah, oh, I remember where he is. Yeah. <laughs> Because <laughs> yeah, when I first seen the movie, I love that he gets a like, blowjob because he yeah, gets, he's the only one that gets anything. Yeah, when they it, go to it's Amsterdam. all it's all well, no, because they bang in the in the plane. No, I'm saying when they go to Amsterdam. Oh yeah, he's easily the uncoolest. Yeah, one, and then and he he's gets, the only and, one that in gets a camera anything. shop. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't even have to go to the red light district. He's like, she's like, I love your camera. Yeah, and like he's ready to blow him over this camera. He's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, like he just goes there to get his camera cleaned and. It's like just, I'm sorry if I bring a camera and, uh, to get it clean. The girl's like, "Oh, there it is. I, I want to. I want to do." I'm, I'm like, "No," because apparently you have done this before. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not the only one that owns this camera. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't. I don't because I know I'm not the only one with this nice camera. And apparently you have done this before, so there might be a chance you got something. <laughs> so my favorite part in the whole movie is the next day after the club scene when they're panning across. And everybody's just so depressed. And he's smiling. And he goes, there's ear. fucking Cooper, like almost giddy, you know. And he's like, "So, I had a wild night. Yeah, <laughs> I know I got kind of wild, you know. And then like, you know, the whole you made out with your sister, like you made out with your sister, that dude. Is, that is the best fucking part in the whole fucking movie. I love that. Yeah. I don't know. I I'm not a. Uh... I still think the robot fight, street fight scene was the best. Uh, that is the best. Um, and Matt Damon singing Scotty Doesn't Know. I have to say, I've tried Absinthe. Yeah. And no. I, 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 yeah. I got did, nothing. Did you try it in America? Yeah, but I had yeah, but it, it was, imported. Yeah, it was imported. Oh, yeah. I remember because I tried it yeah. with you guys. Because, yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, yeah we had stuff, it imported. I've heard the real stuff has uh, wormwood in it. And that's yeah, really it, we, it does. It I was didn't, imported. I didn't, it has yeah. it on the label. It didn't do nothing for me either. Didn't do nothing. Nope. Tasted like Listerine. It well, does. It's very, it's, like it's very, Listerine. very minty. Yeah, yeah. I've watered heard down minty. I've, I've heard it does have a minty taste. It's yeah, very it's, minty. It's like watered down Listerine. Yeah. yeah. It even kind of looks like Listerine. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't glow. <laughs> it doesn't it, glow. It, no, it's yeah. blue. And we, and we did do the su- the sugar thing. Yeah, the sugar thing. Yeah. The yeah. thing that you're supposed to do yeah, when you're drinking. Yeah, you light the sugar and. Yep. Yeah, we did. tried it. We did all that. Yeah, it didn't work. Yep. We, should, we we really tried too. I mean, I got drunk, but <laughs> we got two we got two bottles of it. I think yeah. we drank nothing yeah. but that, and yeah. we're like, "This absinthe is bullshit." Yeah, it's bullshit. <laughs> I'm getting a decent buzz. But. Yeah, that, that's it. <laughs> um, I I even wrote this down. I said I do miss this this genre of music that they play in the movie, like mm. all the like poppy punk shit that they play throughout a lot of the movie. Like the no. Scotty doesn't know song is like yeah. the epitome of that. Yeah, you yeah, I, mean? I get what you're saying. So yeah. and those that kind of music from back in the day. Like listening to it in this movie, I'm like, God, I do kind of miss well, the jams. Stuff that kind of was like it was right after that ska era. Yeah, like it was more like thing. it was more like uh, what's the name of that band? Um, fuck, dude, you should know. You listen to a lot of these guys back in the day, um, like Newfound Glory oh, and shit yeah. like that. Mm-hmm. Like those, like essentially boy bands with guitars. <laughs> like sure. that's what they were. Yeah, they they were. Yeah. I didn't listen to Newfound Glory. I don't know what you li- you listen to some of that stuff. Like, I listen like the one that I would consider a boy band that was like really pop punk would be like Blink One Eighty Two. Not so much. Th- I love Blink One Eighty Two though. And Green Day. I did like Green Fuck Day. Fuck Green Day. Green Day sucks. Green Day sucks ass. So, I really thought it was funny when the Popac fire. Yeah, I thought it was kind. Of, that scene was kind of funny. Very unrealistic. There's no way. Well, but. absolutely, but. 
I mean, it's fucking funny. Two jackasses in that fucking room. Of course that would happen. <laughs> I love that. Like, he's like running around, you know, calling out football jargon <laughs> and shit. And like, <laughs> that was just hilarious. Dude. Yeah, two guys that you like know don't watch football. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, like, it was funny as shit. Um, and can you imagine how bad that would hurt sliding down that fucking banner mm-hmm. when he went to get to Mika? Yeah. yeah. I don't think he would have made it that far. I think and then they bang in the fucking Vatican. It's like, dude. Oh, yeah, you're definitely going to hell. Yeah, you're going to hell for like, sure. Like, I don't care if you're Catholic or not. You can't bang in a You're telling me this dude. girl is, is, she's interning or some shit at the Vatican for however long. She's not interning. Or whatever no, it was. No, she's, she was going on a, it was a, a, fuck. Like it was an educational thing. thing. It was something before college. She was going on a boat with... It was basically like pre-college, college on a boat. Yeah, but it was for... It wasn't for anything oh, religious, okay. oh. no. I was going to say, you're telling me this bitch is all religious? No, just, But she's no. going to bang in a fucking confession booth? No. No. <laughs> no. No, it wasn't anything religious, but I don't care if you were religious or not. I don't care if you're Catholic or not. You, you just don't do that. You don't do that. <laughs> yeah, you just don't do that, man. Like, yeah. I'm not even religious. I don't believe in none of that shit, but that is not something you're like, I would they're do. They're lucky they didn't walk out of the church and get struck by fucking yeah. lightning. Like, that's something I'm you saying. don't do, man. Like, you don't disrespect somebody's belief. Like yeah, that. you don't you know do that. That's like, terrible. That's fucked up. You do terrible. It all the time. Shut the fuck up, Matt. Not like that. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> not like that. That's... That's I'm not by saying God damn it and shit. That's not not no, that's, that's not, not what I'm talking about. You wear, you walk around wearing shirts with six 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 and shit on them. Yeah, so somebody that's be- disrespecting people. Too. No, it's not. It's also it's also praising others who believe in Satanism. Satanism is a joke. Have you ever heard? Satanism? No, it's They're a joke. Satanists. But They're atheists. But they still believe in it. They want to be part of something. They still believe in it though. No, they don't. They're. Atheists. I'm just I'm helping everybody out. Just like I help you out, buddy. Like, like I, you believe in God. That's cool. You know, it's good. Uh, they believe in Satan. Whatever gets you through the day. No, they don't. They're <laughs> atheists. No, that's okay, what whatever. Satanism is. Well, that's atheism. fine. Whatever. It's atheists. Whatever gets through them, it gets them through the day. I don't care. I think you're truly atheist. A- atheist? <laughs> he's said that before. No, he says he's agnostic. I am agnostic. You're I don't not, care. You're atheist. I'm not atheist. I just don't give a shit. That's basically atheism. No, it's not. No, a- a- no because if you were agnostic, <laughs> you would still be... You would... Be open to the idea? Yeah. Yeah. Which Prove I it. think is funny, because you want to... No, that's not true, because an atheist believes that there's nothing after death. I don't know that's true. I've never said that. I don't know that. So, therefore, I am not an atheist. But believing that there could be a God would still make you want to want to be a good person. And No, I don't care. I don't yeah. care. You don't care? Okay, that's your eternity. You are preparing. You are pre- that, Matt, Matt, uh, Matt, what have I told you several times? Don't push your shit on me. I'm not pushing don't, your shit. I'm trying don't. to help. Hey! Knock it the fuck off. Mommy's spoken. I'm just trying to help you, man. Help me? Yes. Oh, God. Karen, get your son. Not my son. You get an ass whipping. I'm going to get mommy on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not either one of you's mother, but I'm just saying. Mama? No, definitely <laughs> okay. not. Definitely about the not. movie. We're still talking about the movie. Are we, though? <laughs> Look, I just saved this, whatever this was, so, like, stop. What are you doing? I am looking at reviews. Oh, are we, I'm are we there? I'm doing my fucking job. Are we there? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well, sorry, we went on a bit of a tangent there. Yeah, that's why I stopped it. It's one of the best things about this show is people love it whenever we gripe. Yeah, but that that was getting getting what hairy. Yeah, not as hairy as these nuts. <laughs> you know, you should probably shave those. Actually, are Matt, you guys are is you Matt guys... upset? Do you need a no. hug? You need mouth hugs? No. Can I give you some anyway? I would really wish you would use something. Just stop with the mouth hugs. Why? It's so annoying. You don't enjoy them. You say it all the time. What's wrong with that? That would be like me going around saying one phrase all the time. Just imagine me walking around only saying one phrase. Do you, okay, well, what do you want me to say? Uh, something other than mouth hugs. You don't always have to use mouth hugs. Be like, I don't know, like kissies or something else. <laughs> I gotta read this N- nipple one. licks? I've never even heard mouth hugs except from, from you. Oh, that's good. It's, uh, no. <laughs> that means it's underutilized. No, because really, truthfully, when you say mouth hugs, I am confused. I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. Then that's, even, that's, even, that's even better. 
Nipple licks then? <laughs> no. Come on, man. Anything? No. <laughs> Are you guys through everything? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. I've 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 pretty much gone through everything. I uh, except for one thing. Whenever this movie came out, it kind of reminded me of Hostel. But yeah, it's it's funny oh, Hostel. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. Yeah, it's like well, I think that I had seen Hostel before this, and then I watched this, and I was like. Fuck, dude, that is too much like hostile. <laughs> like because of like all the foreign stuff and I, I literally think the only the I've only never connection seen hostile and I don't think so. The only connection <laughs> is that the cultural differences. No, I'm saying they all... came out at the same time yeah. that it just was too much of this it, was, the same, it felt too much the same to me. Well it's the it's the culture. Yeah. You got same the same culture. I was waiting for somebody to get like gutted at some point in this movie and I was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm waiting Did you for it. Like, wait till after the end, where they talk to the person who runs a hostel. <laughs> <laughs> Did you? You didn't. Wait, what? You didn't watch the bloopers at the end or the the outtakes and stuff? No, I don't think so. Oh shit! Yeah, there's that, a part where they're talking to a woman who runs a hostel. Yeah, and she talks about you need to hide stuff in your anus. <laughs> <laughs> Did I see that part? I might have. Was that at the beginning of the credits? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I do remember that part. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, if you have any valuables, you should hide them in your anus. <laughs> and then how you would just lose them anyway when the fire broke out because <laughs> of, of the fireworks place upstairs. And Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that part. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even watch the whole thing because I was like, okay, I'm done with this movie. But done with this goddamn up, I was movie. I like, oh, I don't know if I should watch this or not. <laughs> the Muscoozy guy showed up that was actually a part that was supposed to be in the movie where he actually owned like a travel agency <laughs> and they showed up at the travel agency because they were lost somewhere so they went there to get help and he was the guy that owned it and <laughs> jamie said something that pissed him off so that's how he ends up on the couch like getting spanked or whatever <laughs> like <laughs> yeah <laughs> i didn't write that down because i didn't feel like it but i remembered I it feel like it <laughs> i remembered it <laughs> so i guess it's time for everybody's reviews right sure yeah so go ahead and give it your twos and ones and twos and go. ones i gotta take a number two um, <laughs> i gave it a three and that was generous see i really wanted to give it a two okay why why? Yeah. Because it's a horrible movie. It's just a bad movie all around. Okay, we we talk <laughs> about that every time we talk about reviews. You gotta be you gotta do better. You now. gotta do better, man. You gotta give us a reason why I you don't gotta give a reason for anything. Oh my god! It's <laughs> in a very nihilistic mood today. But but it's not just that. Like okay, when when we did Weird Al, people like just said it's a bad movie and left it at that. He got dumb. angry. We're dumb. <laughs> He did get no. Angry. The reason I uh, the reason there I gave, you go the reason <laughs> there you go elaborate. Uh, I gave it a three because like like Joseph said, it also it don't age well. It had a time. It's not now. Okay. <laughs> the the acting was bad. There were a couple funny parts, but like I didn't laugh. Uh, I was not interested in the movie, watching the movie, and that's when I when it, it's just all off when I'm not even interested in the movie. Like. I didn't want to watch this movie when you picked it. I know. <laughs> I'm very well aware. <laughs> I was open to it. <laughs> and I'm one of those people that if I pick a movie and you don't want to watch it, just say you don't want to watch it, and maybe I'll pick another one. No, but, that's, uh, not, how this that's works. not how this works. But, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Is I, don't, I didn't want to watch it, but I did. You know? And yeah. No, it's just, it's just, it's one of those, ba- like, seriously, when I bought this movie, it's it came in, I don't even remember buying it. I think somebody gave it to me. It came in a set of Road Trip and uh, Euro Trip. And I swear yeah, I watched... Yeah, because it's the sequel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I watched it once. I remember it's, just it's, watching it once. The third hadn't come out yet. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be called Not a Sequel. And then never watched it sex again. Trip because sex Sex Drive. Sex Drive. That's okay. It was just one of those movies that it's it's not any good to me. Like I said, the, the it's it had a time and... It's just not anymore. It's past its due yeah, date. Yeah, it's past its time. Every movie, there's a lot of movies that can go on and on and on. 
and become this cult a, classics. And, and yeah. this is not one of them. You see how I didn't get angry though. <laughs> <laughs> you see how I, I didn't call you. She stupid. took it like a champ. And I didn't like get ready to throw my phone or <laughs> kick the TV or the monitor. You know, that's my shit. I'm, I'm just saying, <laughs> break your own shit. I'm just saying, <laughs> calm down, stay. If you want me to be like not be the comic relief that I tr feel tr I try to be. <laughs> no, you were mad. <laughs> no, seriously, because truthfully, when it comes to this stuff, I I don't understand people who don't like Weird Al. I just don't understand them. Uh, like, cause How can you not like Weird Al? I've never seen him do anything that offended anybody. Oh, sure. Oh, I, I, and that's just I, what I it was, that. is because I feel that these people who saw this movie and didn't, that, that movie and didn't think it were funny is because they don't know who Weird Al is. Either that or they just, I don't know, pretentious or don't have that kind of sense of humor. There's a million reasons why. People well, are, you know, I, I just, that, it wasn't, that one, I wasn't really mad. It's just that there were people that I don't understand. It's, it's, I guess I just, I'm a huge fan of Weird Al. And he's always been one of my favorites. And I just don't understand people who don't find him funny, I guess. Okay. <laughs> But uh, no, like like I said, the movie it's just it, it like Joseph said it really, but it didn't age well. Okay, I thought you uh, said that first though. But well, yeah. no, it's like he he said it first. He's a, it just it's it does not age well. Okay, and like yeah, the the acting wasn't that great. Like the best parts were the cameos, like the scoozy scoozy. That was one of the mm -hmm. funniest parts. The guy who did the the robot was funny too but like any other part there wasn't really worth like giggling or anything just a boring movie in my opinion just a boring movie okay you're up uh well there are a lot of things that i don't like about this movie um the acting um i don't like the gratuitous nudity hmm. um don't get me wrong i'm a dude uh i don't mind some some bongos in there every once in a while you know what i mean <laughs> but uh Whenever, like, every scene, it's like you guys ran out of ideas, so you're like, just throw some tits in there. That bothers me. Because that, of that generation, that's what you, you do. I guess, because maybe. But you know that movie is not made for adults, like, 30, 40 years old. It's made for 19. No, they're definitely made for 30, 40 year olds, because they're the fucking pervs. Damn, I'm 36. <laughs> uh, so, anyway, I don't think that uh, the movie has aged well. Movies like this would not get by today. Um, which is saying a lot about our fucking society. And like I said, they're just, they got sticks in their asses. Uh, I think that the, I think if they would have cut back on some of the nudity and concentrated more on the actual comedy, I think it would have been a much, much better. And honestly, it probably would have held up even today. To like, I think, I think, I think th that if they would have concentrated more on the comedy, it would have probably became more of a cult classic like Road Trip did. Road Trip had nudity, but it also had a lot of good comedy in it. A lot of good comedy. I mean, uh, like them ramping the car, you know what I mean? Because it was a faster route. Or, uh, you know, the part where the kid's talking about he puts peanut butter on his balls for his dog to lick off. Because it's not cheating. You know what I mean? Shit like that. Like, that shit's but funny. But it's his dog. But it's his dog. <laughs> it's his dog. Like, that shit's I funny. I do remember that part. It's his There's dog. a lot of funny parts in that movie that don't involve nudity or hypersexualization like they over sexualize these girls way too much like i uh, think you're you're i think you're misjudging the world that we live in well like seriously because if you think about it you're saying that this but there are there are preschool teachers that want to teach their kids well i'm saying sex. like they literally travel around the world go to germany so this dude can fuck a girl that's all he does. He fucks her and leaves her. I mean, granted, she comes back. She blah, blah, leaves but, him, actually. But right, I understand. But still, though, like you're you're telling me that she's just gonna fuck this guy. I mean, maybe she's a hoe. I don't know. But either way, they're over sexualizing. They're 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 making these women look like every female in this movie is a whore. Mm -hmm. Why? And every dude in this movie is a fucking hornball. Why? Michelle Trachtenberg wasn't a whore. She bangs her friend in the airplane. They've known each other for a really okay, long time. Okay, she's the only they, exception. She's the only. Together. She's also the only female in the fucking movie. You no, don't see naked. She, she actually says in the movie that she wanted crazy European sex, too. Yeah, that's true. So, she did. So, are you saying that women aren't allowed to... I'm not saying that. I'm saying the women are just as at fault here as the men are. 
The men are pervs and the women are whores. That's all that this movie is. Granted, that is for some people. You're right. And that does have its place in comedy. That's understandable. Don't try to defend it. I'm stating my I'm opinion. I'm just asking questions. But I'm saying that it's not okay. Like this movie, that's why this movie rubs me the wrong way. Because of those reasons. Because it, it's fucking hypersexualized, nudity, and it's not. there's not enough funny in it. Too much of this and not enough of that. So, you know what I mean? Like it's like it's like putting on fucking two pounds of fucking you know, it's like putting two pounds of bacon on a fucking BLT. It's not gonna be good. You know what I mean? Oh, I can't agree with that. No, I can. You want two that much fucking two pounds of bacon on one fucking BLT? Dude, that's, that's too much bacon. No, that's a, good a little bit of bacon is good. <coughs> well, are you putting more lettuce and tomato than on it too? No. Oh that's well, the okay, problem. That See, okay, <laughs> picture picture the bacon as the boobs. Okay? Then picture the lettuce and tomato as the comedy. It just outweighs it. You know what I mean? Like, there's two pounds of bacon here, one leaf of lettuce, and one tomato. It's not enough. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then the story is the is the bread. Okay. It's just bland. It's like it's like regular white bread. I'd rather have some wheat bread in there. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm comparing this to a BLT. I've got the analogy. <laughs> that, that's I'm fine. just saying, like, it's just, <laughs> there's not enough here for me to enjoy it. Like, there's not enough comedy. There. I can't say anything because then you think I'm trying to defend it. So I'm just, I understand. I'm just saying, it's okay. okay. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna have to come in here. I'm gonna come in at the same score as Matt. I'm gonna give it a three. Okay. Because it does it does hold traction for some people. I will say that, and it does have its place in comedy. You're you're right about that. I will say that. But the acting is shit. There's not enough comedy and not enough funny in it. They try too hard on the funny. And it just becomes always over the top, like the part with the dance scene with or the 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 robot fight scene. That was fucking good. That was good comedy. That was funny because it was original and it was funny. It's random as shit. But like the fucking sex house thing with and the dildos and shit. Like come on, come on. Like like I said, it's like a fifteen year old wrote this. Like a horny fifteen year old. <laughs> We're gonna put boobs in this scene. <laughs> what about the next scene? We're gonna put boobs in that scene too because boobs are cool. See what I mean? I just like the way you said that. that was a bo- <laughs> Boobs are cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a three. That's the best I can do. That's and that's that's padding it up. Okay. So I will give it that. Um, that's all I got. Okay. <laughs> Because at 15, I was like that. Boobs are cool. Boobs are cool. <laughs> do anything to <laughs> That's probably it. why I like this movie back when I was like, I don't know, 15 or 16. It came out in 2004. How old would I have? I don't know how old I would have been. I was... I would have gradu- I was graduated. I think I was 20, 21. Oh, no. No, you weren't you that were fucking 19, old. 19, maybe. Because, well... I probably would have been 17 well, or 18. yeah, okay. Well, because I don't know if I graduated that 18 I graduated in 2003, so... Yeah. 19. I was 18. I was 18 years old when this movie came out. Okay, well, I guess I'm the horny 15-year-old because <laughs> I found this shit funny. <laughs> there are so many good one-liners. Mm. You made out with your sister. That's funny <laughs> as fuck. And gross as fuck. They're twins <laughs> yeah. to boot. The worst twins. The worst twins. I mean, I'm glad they didn't look alike because that would have been weirder. But, I mean, and I, you know, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because really, why? But... I'm going to go at a six because it's funny as shit. A six? I'm going six. Ooh. <laughs> I don't care. It's a, I, to me, it's right up there with like the porkies in the, in the animal houses and the, okay. it fits right into that <coughs> genre. And you still like American pie, don't you? I haven't really seen it in a really long time. Yeah. To be honest. <laughs> That's one that can hold water. That one can hold weight because no, it's bad. No, it can. I, it can because it's a, um, it was very, very much of its time. It, it spoke to a lot of kids at that age. It's, it's a bad movie. I'm not saying it's but a good movie, But then wouldn't Matt. it not hold water then? Cause, like, yes, it because it would hold water for people our age in a better way because it kind of it shows what teenage and angst was like that back then. Like in a different... like like well, you're, This movie is pure horny fucking non shenanigans american but, pie was purely about sex. I know, but it's about... It's not just about sex, man. It's about... Uh, your first time and your first love and a lot of those things. It's told through a different way, dude. It's not like this. This is strictly a sex-driven movie. And American Pie told multiple stories through multiple characters. Their first time, their first experiences, their first loves. 
dating and breaking up, uh, realizing that you you actually love somebody that you didn't realize that you love, things like that. That's what that those movies were about. Yeah, I can see that. Like he he ends up with the, the girl from band camp, dude. That's who he loses his shit his virginity to. That's that's different. And then she that's used how him. it was. I remember that she used him for sex. She left. Yeah. Well, they eventually got I married. Know, but you know all that. Yeah. But, you know, just all those things. And like, and then the guy and the girl who were the, the Mina Savari and that dude were like in love and mm-hmm. this and that. You know what I mean? Like it showed it had so much more depth than just being a raunchy comedy or a guy sticking his dick in a pie. To <laughs> me, this movie came out at the time I graduated, like a year after I graduated. So this is my generation too. So to me, it. It's just as funny to me as it was then. I mean, that's fine. I so. understand. I believe that a lot of people find this movie to be fucking hilarious. But for me, and it could have something to do with the fact that I just, whenever I went to watch it, I just was like, oh, fuck, here we go. You know what I mean? Like that first set of tits, and I'm like, oh, this is what it's this is what it's going to be. So, and I, because I hadn't seen this movie, I think, since it came out. And that's where I was like, kind of just dead on it. It was like, ugh. It was one of those things where I was just like, I don't think I was in the mood for yeah, it. The first time I watched this, I was in North Carolina. I don't even remember where I was when I watched it. Somebody, but I'm not gonna. F- I'm not gonna condone you for liking this movie. No, I, I, I 100. You know, if you, you love could, it, you, you know, could condone me, and I wouldn't. Yeah, care. exactly. <laughs> like I'm not. I'm not anybody to hate on anybody for liking what they like. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's cool, no. I mean, you know? like this is one liners as hell. For yeah, me. like we quote it all the time. The people that I talk to on a daily basis, which I we find quote funny because I don't think there are many good lines in it. There's a few. Anyway. There's a few in it. <laughs> There's a few good one-liners in the movie. Yeah. So, I guess we'll move on to trivia now. I bet this fucker has a lot of trivia. Uh, I don't... I didn't write it all down, because I... Like I said, I... Some of it... Does I it didn't. say it's not actually a sequel? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, wait. No, I did have... That reminds me, because we got to do the Rotten Tomatoes thing or whatever. Oh, yeah. We still got to do the reviews. Yeah. Those reviews. Okay, those so... Those reviews. The you guys want to guess for um, critics, Matt? Are you doing Rotten Tomatoes? Yes. Okay. And criti- uh, Metacritics, they do percentage for the. Critics, yeah, this right? is percentage. Critics. Twelve percent. Twelve percent. Wow. Okay. I don't think it's that low. Um, I know it's going to be low though. I don't think it's going to be twelve percent low. Uh, I'll do twenty percent. You were closer. Really? 40, 47%. 40? Really? It's that high? Mm-hmm. Wow. I didn't think it'd be that high. Okay. Audience, Matt. I want to say the audience said about 40. I think the audience is going to be higher. I'm going to go 50. You were closer, 75. 75? Wow, damn. People like this movie a lot more than we do, Matt. <laughs> that just proves a lot of what I already say during every episode. <laughs> that you get mad at me for saying. <laughs> I'm looking for a good one. Uh, usually there's a critic's consensus and a an audience consensus. No, there consensus. was one that I saw that I had to read. Uh, from audience or critics? I don't remember because it... Oh, there it is, but this is an audience one, so... Okay, do a couple of critic ones, and then we'll move on. Um, we only like the bad ones, right? <coughs> for the, yeah, for the most part. We like the funny ones. The funny ones, the bad ones. There's bad. a lot of good ones. Hold on. I gotta find bad ones. Uh, there's not any funny ones, though. This movie is good. <laughs> this one makes... This one's weird. Represents the latest pestilence from DreamWorks subterranean id grinder. What's an id grinder? Anyone? I don't I mean, know. I understand pestilence. Yeah. I, understand, I understand pestilence. I understand yeah. pestilence. I don't know what id grinder is. <laughs> the movie misses most of what is truly funny and compelling about the universal Western European adventure. What the fuck is funny about it? Please do tell. Like I don't, I under- believe going to I don't understand I that statement. Funny stuff. I'm sure, but like, what the f- like? We all know what that is. This one doesn't even have. It just has the, the, the one, 
on it. There's no. There's not even a. It anything. just says the one. <laughs> okay. No, this... like actually, it says the no, one. It, no, no, <laughs> it, no, it just has like the splat and like you know oh, uh, the rating for like a one, oh, okay. and that's it. Like there's no. Okay. Because I thought you were saying it just says the there's one. nothing. In <laughs> so Garth this movie Franklin is the one. Garth Franklin, you should really write something if you're gonna get on here and review something at least fucking right they why you don't like they it they should at least write something i believe I so too i don't even think they, give it a, that's yeah. that's what i'm I don't even that's think, what i was yeah. trying to say earlier we when you were like least, yeah it's a three and that's I don't all i'm think, gonna say like you can't do that you i don't gotta say yeah why. i believe that if you're gonna write a, like they shouldn't even be able to post a review without yeah, writing a review that's what i'm saying if you're gonna get on here and write something then write it okay this one i had to read <laughs> when i was going through and looking at these so this is a, an audience review Euro Trip is a pointless sequel <laughs> oh, to a mediocre comedy. <laughs> this film has a very bad script, bad acting and directing. The jokes are more crude and vulgar, and most of the time are unfunny. This is very this is a very sorry excuse for a comedy, and Euro Trip scraps the bottom of the barrel in a term of, in the term of good ideas. Euro Trip is a rush rushed film, and it's apparent that there wasn't enough thought to deliver a decent comedy. I just like the fact that they called it a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> so you weren't the only one. It's not a sequel. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see if there's any other funny ones. Let's just do a quick scan. That one I had to read, though, just because of the history. Wait, didn't they make a Euro trip, too, though? Mm. Like, it was kind of the same story, but something if a little different. If they did, I never... Where I it's basically it. a comedy where some people go to uh, Euro. I can Europe look real quick, but I don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. Because I thought they made... Because there were a part where they made some, a lot of movie. There was a point where they made a lot of movies of movies that didn't need sequels. Like Spy Kids. Like yeah, the Spy no Kids shit. movies are still good, but they didn't need sequels. They didn't mean it, need as many as they got. Well, that was the only good other review that I saw. So I guess we're done with that. So we'll move on to the trivia. Um, the kegs at the graduation party, they had real beer in them. So after the hot tub scene where um, Cooper gets thrown behind Scotty, Jacob Pitts, the guy that played Cooper, was very drunk. You can kind of see it. Like when he's like standing there, he's kind of wobbly and he's like moving. Oh, that. Cooper? Yeah, yeah Cooper. He, 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 was, he was very inebriated. <laughs> um, and Mika is actually not a common German name. It is a common Dutch name. Oh. <laughs> it sounds more Dutch than it does. Right. Yeah, it does. Um, and Vinnie Jones... Um, yes, he was a soccer uh, player. Or football player or whatever. Or, yeah, football. But he was not and is still not a Manchester United fan. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> he was not a fan and still is not a fan. No. Uh, at the Vandersex Club, the male assistants are named Hans and Gruber, which huh. is a nod to the main villain in Die Hard. Yeah. Uh, the first time that Michelle Trachtenberg d did her bikini scene, she shook her hair out so much that she got dizzy and fell over. <laughs> <laughs> they should have left that in. <laughs> I would have at least at in that. the bloopers. <laughs> I mean. uh, the Montecito Picture Company originally purchased the film under the title Ugly Americans, but later yeah. changed it so fans of Road Trip would want to see it. So it's not even like, it's just they took a name. Oh, that's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> that's like piggybacking off of somebody else, you know what I mean? Right. And then, uh, so this one I had, to, you guys are going to hate this, but I... I found it kind of funny, but I am also fucked in the head. So, so to, despite all the political correctness in the film, there is one scene that was even too much for the studio, referred to as the F Anne Frank sex scene. <laughs> no. Okay, so explain the. the hold on. I, I, I'm going. Okay. So the scene was never filmed, but is available in the script on the DVD version. Cooper finds a flyer for a sex club called The Secret Room and accidentally mis misidentifies the house of Anne Frank as the club. Seeing a long line outside, he assumes it is the right place but doesn't want to wait, so he finds the back door. Once inside, he, goes in a, he sees a small room with a small bed and decides to get naked and wait for the sex worker, but soon finds himself exposed in front of a tour group. The scene then had him reaching for a mannequin that was small. You can guess who the mannequin was modeled after. And Frank. Yes. Um, to cover himself with. Um, the producers basically said hell no to the scene. 
and they, uh, they rewrote the Club Vandersex scene. Probably wow. a good thing. Yeah. I, I agree, but to read that was funny to me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I understand the, the hilarity of it, but yeah, I could see where they're like, uh, I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I could see writing that and giggling, you know, yeah. like being in the writer's room and be like, that would be funny, but like, no. And, and like that's it, in bad taste. Yeah. It's in bad taste. Yeah. You should not film that. You should not show Not that even to because people. it's Anne Frank, but because it's supposed to be a small child. Right, you like, I mean? like, yeah, like you, 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 there's nothing about that that is in good taste. Yeah. But it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm a bad person. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, so 95% of this movie was filmed in Prague. So it wasn't actually all over Europe. It was just in Prague. And they used Prague? a lot of... Prague. Is it Prague? Is it Prague? I think so. Prague, Prague. Prague. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> um, but yeah, they used a lot of... Uh, Green screens, backgrounds, things like that. To you could see that in a couple of areas. The only time yeah. I really noticed it was um, the Big Ben scene. That looked fake to me. That the what? The Big Ben when they were in London. The very first time. Yeah, the very first scene. Yeah, yeah that, I one that. I, that one I noticed big time, but the rest I didn't notice so much. I didn't see it. I, I know the London scene. I was like, that almost looks un- not real. Like Right. That was. The I, I kind of thought to myself, hey, did they film this on location? Or? I, right. I, the thing that I think is funny about that is they go to London and decide to beat up a guy who was wearing a London shirt in London. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of like Cooper walking around with a shirt with his own face on it. Like, who does that? I mean, I, I kind of want a shirt with my own face on it now. You can. I'm pretty sure you can go to the UPS store or something. Like I'm that sure one. I could. I'm sure I could. Yeah, but that's hilarious to me. Uh, this last one. While filming the nude beach scene, Jacob Pitts, the guy who played Cooper, would not put his shorts back on because... He enjoyed how uncomfortable it made the rest of the cast. <laughs> <laughs> and That's good shit. <laughs> that is all for the trivia. And Matt, you are up next week. So what are we watching? Don't tell us. You gotta do the. You gotta do the. Oh thing. yeah, yeah. We gotta do the game. I almost forgot about the game. You're about to tell us, weren't you? Oh yeah, I was. I forgot. <laughs> oh, I knew so you would. <laughs> okay. Is he, it? Yeah, is you go it first. Old? Define old. Okay, is it like <laughs> 90s? Is it in the 90s? Yes. Mm. Is it action? No. He said well, drama earlier. Oh, you said it was drama, didn't you? I think it's drama. It could... It could I, I'll say there is, there is action in it. Okay. Uh. Um. Is it like a crime thriller? Not what? really, no. Are you just going to throw every... He said drama... Like, could be a crime thriller. That's Anna. drama. Like Man on Fire is could be considered drama. That's true. But it's actually a crime thriller. I, I wouldn't consider it a crime drama. My, my, and by the way, Man on Fire is amazing. Yes, it is. It's I, my I favorite Denzel movie. It. Uh okay. Um so there's some action, but it's got drama. Um Does it have action film stars in it? A couple. A couple, okay. Like there are people in it that you can you see in action movies. Okay. Um, hmm. Do is it a cop movie? No. Is it a heist movie? No. You're about the heist movies. Today. I love heist like movies. I love heist movies. Uh, so it's yikes. from the '90s. Is it early '90s or late '90s? I think it's the late 90s. I'm not sure. Is there romance in it? A little bit. Not it's not overpowering. Okay. You said okay. drama, so that's where my Yeah, I don't I, yeah, I don't like overpowering. Yeah, 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 it's not overpowering. Okay, um I can't wait till February. Why? I got the perfect a fan- er, uh, Valentine's movie. We didn't even do a Thanksgiving movie. I know, but I got the perfect <laughs> Valentine's movie. Um okay, is there uh, big name movie stars in it. Yes. Like, yeah, you said action. There's well, it doesn't mean they're big name. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, Chuck Norris. No, <laughs> I'm Damn. sorry. Jean Claude Van Damme. No. Arnold. No. Sylvester. No. Like of that stature or not? No. Okay. Um. Danny Liam Trejo. Neeson. No. Liam Neeson. Yes. Ha. <laughs> Really? He, he mentioned him earlier, so I'm like, mm. hmm. Liam Neeson. 90s Liam Neeson. I'm trying to think. From the 90s? Does it have a plane in it? 
<laughs> we got well, lucky twice. <laughs> it's not Taken, is it? Like Taken's no, two- that's no. that's two thousands. <laughs> So it's late nineties with Liam Neeson. Fuck, I, I don't even think know. Late 90s. I don't even know of like any Liam Neeson movies from the nineties. Uh, I... Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna give a, a hint. Hold on, no, we yeah. didn't ask for a hint. Yeah, we didn't ask for oh, one you, yet. Is that yeah. how we do? Yeah, it? we, yeah, we get one hint a piece. Yeah, we have to ask for it though. Mm. Can I have a hint? <laughs> <laughs> you really want yeah, one hint. It's a period piece. Okay, it's not Schindler's List, is it? No, because I know he's in Schindler's List. Period piece, Liam. Neeson. Piece. Is it like a war movie? No. Liam Neeson. There is a war going on during it. Okay. But it's not a huge part of the movie. And it's not Schindler's List. No. <laughs> hmm. I think I know what it is, but I don't know the name of the movie. I can see it in my head. I definitely know I've never seen this movie. Just name a couple questions, and I, I can tell you if it's it. Like a big part that you think would give it away. I can't think of any good questions either. Like I can a period I can piece. See, okay, so I can see him, his character in my head, but like I can't even think of the the period. Like a good question to say, like, is it during this period? Is it during the eighteen hundreds? Yes, I do believe. Is he the only big name actor in it? Liam Neeson? Yeah. No. Is he the main er- main character? No. Okay. Hmm. Fuck, Karen. Dude. I know. I'm... Um... <laughs> she's got no. ideas. <laughs> I know. I No, I, that's not... Uh, no, that's not the movie I was thinking it was. So I was wrong. I bet somebody out there who's listening is like screaming. Really like screaming it's at this, the, it's it's this. this. Well, they're not screaming right now because we're recording, but yeah. when they listen, when they're, they're going to be like, you yeah, sons yeah, of bitches. motherfuckers, it's this, you um, dumbasses. Fuck. 1800s. He's not the main guy, though, so. Um... Were you thinking of a movie where he's the main guy? Yeah. Then I don't think you're close. Though. Yeah, it's not the movie I was thinking of. Uh, <laughs> Does it have Sean Connery in it? No. Uh, what? Is uh, is Gabriel Byrne in it, by chance? Who the fuck oh, is that? Is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, fuck, man. <coughs> I'm trying to think, and I can't... I don't know. If, you're, if you're wanting to know certain actors, some of them you might have to show pictures, because I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> I might be stumped on this one. I don't know. I know. I'm having a really hard time. A period piece with Liam Neeson. All right. And... I'll take my hint. Oh, what should I give you for a hint? Um. It has, um. Crap. No, I can't remember his name. Leonardo DiCaprio in it. Oh, man. In the Iron Mask. I was yeah. right. Nope. Damn it. No? Mm-mm. He's not a man in the Iron Mask. Yeah, he is. Liam Neeson? Oh, no. No, he's not. Leonardo Fuck. DiCaprio? Leonardo DiCaprio and Liam Neeson? The fuck I'm are they in? That should give you the movie, I mean, right away. If you guys don't have it... You, you... Somebody's screaming at their it's fucking not, head. For you it. say it's a... Uh, 1800s. You said period piece of Leonardo DiCaprio went right to Man in the Iron Mask, which yeah. is really it's not Titanic. No, no, he's not in that. No. God, damn. I really want you guys to get it. I mean, come on, it has. <gasps> oh, Gangs of New York. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Liam How do I Neeson? win? Liam Neeson's in that. He's, he's, yeah, he's he's he's, he's, uh, he's um, Leonardo DiCaprio's father. He dies in the beginning. Fuck, dude. So I, Cameron Diaz and yep. uh, what's his fucking name? Uh, the really high-profile actor. There's a lot of those. No, no, no. He's like the main bad guy. Uh, I think his name's Billy the Butcher, and he he's actually an actor who he came back he came back to play that part. Well, he's he's he did other acting. He played Abraham Lincoln. He he was in uh, um, There Will Be Blood. Yeah, I think the I think what I'm saying is I don't I think I've actually seen this see movie from beginning to end. I have. It's been. I think I, I saw I one when it came it out because I watched it again. It's a really good flick, it's though. A, it's a good flick. Yeah. And It'll see, be interesting to revisit it. Would that be considered This movie is almost three hours long. It's got some action in it. Yeah. Damn, three hours? And yeah. the war? Two hours and 47 the war, minutes. The Civil War. 
Oh. Yeah, because it, I, I'm not sure if it's 1800, but when they're when they're uh, there's a part where it's, I would iron- say it's definitely more of an over dramatization of that time. Yeah, because there's it's it's uh, the genre of it says drama crime. Crime drama, crime? yeah. I didn't know drama if it would crime. be considered crime or not. But um, the uh, because yeah, there's a part where they're coming off the boat from Ireland, and there some of them join the military right away because it's like they're saying, "Hey, you come to the military and fight for your country that you just got to." Yeah, yeah. I don't think there's I've a- seen this all the way through. The only thing I really remember people saying about it is like Cameron Diaz throws you off. She does. She's like uh, she's Irish. She doesn't, she doesn't look really play good, good Irish. She also doesn't look like Cameron Diaz. She looks yes. very. She she looks, she looks more like, like a street rat than anything. Yeah, like, like I Irish. heard that her acting throws you off. Like she doesn't like everybody else puts you in that era except her. Except her. Yeah. Like yeah. anytime she's in the scene, you're like. Yeah, she doesn't. You're, you're fucking her. me up here. Yeah, like everybody else is keeping me in the zone, and you're fucking me yeah, up. Yeah, she, right. she. I will say I like Cameron Diaz, but she does not do it. I've never liked Cameron Diaz. I've never liked anything she's done. Oh, well, I don't. I I've can't never. say I like her. I don't really have a like an opinion of her. There's certain I do. Things I've I never liked her. her. She was a great hot chick for the mask. That's exactly. <laughs> that's what it. I was like gonna say. she was. She was that's hot the only thing in the I mask. Can, yeah, and that's the only thing I can think of. I've never liked. I liked. I liked her in something about Mary, but that's only because she wasn't the main person. I, she, cause, I, I I've only seen that movie like twice, and I don't remember being over. Oh, it's a great movie. Matt Dillon kills it. Yeah, I yeah. mean, I'm but sure like he does. her, she she doesn't play like a she's Mary, but she's like not the pivotal yeah. person in the movie. But yeah, I just I've never cared about Cameron Diaz. I think she's just an annoying annoying person. I liked her in The Mask because she was like the hot chick, mm-hmm. but that was it. Like that's all I like. Well, she didn't really even talk all that. Exactly, much. she, she was just there to be. Like I said, she was the whatever. love interest. Yeah, yeah. So I still think one of the best parts of the uh, of the mask though was um, I really like the Cuba Pete song. Oh yeah, <laughs> I haven't seen that movie in a long time. Oh for real, I think I've only seen it like even maybe once too. I think I seen one. Really? Yeah, really? I think I went to the theater. Dude, me and Cody and used it. to watch that movie religiously. Yeah, I don't think I've I've seen it all that oh, much wow. to be honest. Yeah, me and Cody used to be in love with that movie. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, well, um, so next week we're watching Gangs of New York. Um, synopsis for that movie. Uh, it was two hours and 47 minutes, so... Yeah, gonna... it's not a short movie. Not at yeah, all. I've gonna... been wanting to pick it for a while, but then stuff kept coming up like I was going to pick it, but then the Weird Al movie came up, and then... Yeah. yeah. So the synopsis is in... It's 1863, Amsterdam, Valen returns to the five points of America to seek vengeance against the psychotic gangland... Kingpin Bill the Butcher, who murdered his father years earlier. With an eager pickpocket by his side and a whole new army, Valon fights his way to seek vengeance on the Butcher and restore peace in the area. This ain't uh, late 90s. This is 2000s. That movie came out in 2000. Did it come out in 2000? I'm almost positive. Mm, 2002. Yeah. Oh, okay, my bad. That's I cool. said I wasn't for sure. That's cool. Uh, I still wouldn't have guessed it. He just <laughs> he just kept fucking with us, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, it's just weird because, like, I, I, I'm telling you, I have not seen this movie all the way through. I know I haven't. I've seen bits I have, and pieces. I've seen it once all the way through. Yeah. But it's just funny because he said that, and then he said that, and I was like, gangs of me, I know that. Yeah, I would have never guessed that because I didn't know Liam Neeson was in it. I finally got one. Yeah, there you go. You're winning. Once. I really <laughs> wanted you guys to uh, like the, the once I th- I thought once I gave you the leader of DiCap- DiCaprio, you guys were going to get it. No, because he's done so many movies. Yeah, he's a, he. I was trying to think of period pieces with him, and I'm like, fuck. He I don't know. That's what. That's bit. where I was when I was thinking. And I didn't even period pieces. like. Was it Revenant? Gangs of New York? Was no, Revenant no, Revenant did not. Well, yeah, but well, I, also, yeah, then, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't classify it strictly as a period piece. I would classify it more as like a action kind of you know what i mean like mm, action drama story, no but i'm saying I don't like know if it's a true story what it's i'm saying though is like the the, the story necessarily movie, doesn't that, hinge on the I fact that it's it. during you've that never period. seen it dude leonardo DiCaprio, dude I, I, he deserved I, that oscar for that movie. i heard that he deserved his yeah, Oscar, dude. but there was also a lot of people he's who deserved got an oscar for a long time though there were a lot of people that were happy he got an oscar because they said that there were a lot of people that said he deserved an Oscar way before. He that. did. Yeah, oh, he sure. did. He's done a lot of good movies. Yeah, when he yeah, was young, I didn't like him. But I've, I've never had a problem with no, him. No, I've always thought he was an amazing I, actor. I never thought. I never had a problem with him. Yeah. I didn't really like him when he was younger, but then he got to a point where it was like, he's he's a good actor. He's, yeah. a, he's a really good actor. Cody, I liked when Cody was obsessed with him in Titanic. 
Dude, she loved that movie. Like, she was obsessed with Leonardo DiCaprio from that movie. There's a lot of jokes about him, though. Like, he won't date a woman over 30 or something. Oh, yeah. Like, like yeah, 35 He's dating date younger and younger. Well, he's Leonardo DiCaprio. Like, you know what I mean? When does, I mean, when does As it get ages, weird? As he ages, though, he looks more and more like Jack Nicholson. He does, though. <laughs> he does. Yeah. Okay, so next week, Gangs of New York. Next week, baby. It's a good flick. All right, well. I think it's the longest movie we've picked. Probably. Jesus, three hours. That's a long one. I have to carve out a whole entire evening for this. (laughs) You know, your kids come downstairs, you got to pause the fucking movie, you make a popcorn, whatever the fuck they want. No, my two two older. Three hours turns into six Yeah, my two older ones are no to leave me the fuck alone. It's my youngest. He's always like, mom, hey, mom, mom. Or he's down there turning on lights and shit. It's like, dude. This is my living room. Like, I pay the bills. <laughs> Where was he yeah. today? He was at his grandma's. Oh, okay. Yeah, because we came in and I, was, I seen Gavin and Madison. And I was kind of like, where's Jackson? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, well, happy Thanksgiving from the Bonsai yeah, yeah, Movie anywhere, Turkey. Good, good and safe Thanksgiving. Yep, yeah. have a great Thanksgiving. And I hope everybody is thankful for something. Absolutely. If everybody not, have uh, a great turkey day. If you're, if you're not thankful, no turkey. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. 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 <laughs>